Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, uh, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. That's Make sure right, you're watching friends. at 60 frames a second. Uh, this is Erlen. Hey, guys. Welcome to Wednesday. I'm the name right above my head, and he's the name above yeah, his right head. Yeah, right here. Yep. And uh, we got some more games for you. Three games today. Dog Walk <laughs> by Vote. Vojta? V O J T A. Vojta? I don't have Vojta? no. I don't know, <laughs> no. man. Can you give us a phonetic uh, spelling? Because I see that you're here, man. It's, it's yeah, so welcome. sick that you're here to hang out with us and have us play your game. But yeah, if you. we Also, if there's a name you would affectionately prefer to be called, <laughs> well, that's. He does have an Atari age name. Oh, what's his Atari age name? Uh, Newly. Which, Newly, which okay. I can pronounce. We so. got that. Newly. Uh, the second game we're going to be playing is The Wicked Father by Jamie Hampshire, a.k.a. Juno6. And the third game is Robo Mechanic uh, by Christoph Kluczak. Wow, there's like a... Kluczak. There's like a father theme, you know? Dad's yeah. making you walk dogs, you know? <laughs> That's right. And then at the end, becoming robotic mechanics, you know? This is a very, <laughs> like, you know, masculine-themed show. This is great. Welcome to all the people in the chat today. Uh, Splendid Nut, Thrust, 26, I was supposed to, Repentless VG, Militant Buddhist, Lem McAllister, Vojtan Edved? Edved. Yeah, I got the Ed last Ed. part. Edved. Um, and everybody else who is lurking. And I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Hell yeah, man. Gretem's Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Crocodilvon Nil. Uh, Mr. Figs, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Happy Hours, Scum Software, Sir Catlegs, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, Tiki Dan K, and you can be a subscriber too, and I can read your name off. That's you, correct. For free! Um, if you have an Amazon Prime account, and link it to the Twitch Prime account and click subscribe. And thanks, guys. We do really appreciate yes. it. It helps the show a lot. And it's yeah, all, and I, also, can, I can buy new games with totally. it. Totally. And yeah. most of all, thank you all for coming and watching the show. It's yes, live. It's wonderful when people can show up. And, yeah, man. Whether you're subscribed or not, it's just cool that you're here. And it's good to see all the like familiar faces. I always feel like... Wednesdays around, I'm like, I get to hang out with my friends today. You know, all these all these people that are here every week. That's so, right. and if you do subscribe, you get a cool little thing beside your name, like Repentless VG. There, he's got a two month subscriber beside his name, and S Ramirez, fun five month subscriber. Whoa, dude! Very awesome. Thank you both for subscribing. Um, mail news and feedback. There's Ooh. a Spies in the Night two update. That's uh, a good game. That's, it's a that's... great game. Kind of action. Not really puzzle. More just straight action. There's kind of a mapping aspect to it. Yeah. That you have to map. It's to very get original, man. I've never maze, never played anything quite like it. It uses no. elements that I've seen before, but it's the composition of them all is very unique. Yeah, a little bit of maze because you have to take the right path, but you also can choose what puzzle that you're totally. going to do some whichever. are more action like trying to like get past those lasers and stuff like some yeah. are m almost feel more like almost like little platformers some of them are memorization mini game extravaganza mini game. dude that's what it is fucking totally it a thank you splendid mini that. game mini games um, and, uh, this aesthetic's cool i love that it's all black and white you know yes. it's like it's very it's just film noir it's, it is. it's it, well packaged piece you know yeah very film noir uh the put he put out the final manual for Spies in the oh. Night 2 on Sunday. Um, and he, he talked about the release plans for it uh, on July 7th. Uh, right now the plan is similar to what happened to Spies in the Night 1, which I have a copy of. I, so, a special pre-release so copy says, of... Uh, oh, God. Wyota? I don't know if that's any easier. Wyota? 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 Boy. Whoa. It doesn't help us. Sorry, friend. <laughs> Sorry. Like We're just v dumb is, English v speakers. <laughs> well, at least the V is a W. Woita. Woita. Yep. Yes, very good. Woita. Dude, Woita. Okay. Okay, oh, we got wow. it. Wow. Close enough, at least. I felt like we were shooting in the dark <laughs> and we had nailed it, I guess. A limited edition box release followed by the game will be available in the Atari Age store. Scott Dayton Neo Games will be doing the box release. Amazing. Box cart manual through the Atari uh, 2600 Homebrew Games group on Facebook. Um, and you can join that. Just type in uh, Atari 2600 Homebrew Games on Facebook and join that. Um, Al has mentioned an interest in making the game available through the Atari Age Store, so that could happen after That's the limited news. edition release. I'll try to update this thread uh, 
as things progress, that was an Atari 8 threat. That absolutely should happen. I hope that happens. Yeah, and I got the uh, boxed copy of it up here. The first one? Or? Yeah, the first one. And it is really cool. And it came with a bunch of spy-related things. X-ray oh, goggles. Oh, shit, man. Open up for people. Yeah, dude. Okay, check this out. We got ourselves some X-ray Unfortunately, they don't work. We try. <laughs> yeah, they don't see through your hand or anything. It's just... And this is the box copy of Spies in the Night. And um, it comes with a whole bunch of goodies. It comes with um, fake money. Oh, like shit. Like spy things. Uh, and I think they with? really improved on the game for two. Oh, I mean, uh, one was great, but it's definitely like, it's a, it's a sequel where they really built on what they've been doing and improved. And that's always cool to see. Sometimes it's not the opposite. In this case, it was like, just an, huge. It, refined, built, expanded. It's great. Hey, Militant Buddhist, what did you buy from the store? Because it's not $200 worth, but we'd love to hear your <laughs> orders. What games do you want to go yeah, buy? Yeah, what did you choose? Yeah, that's always it, interesting to me because it's like, you know, it's, that's real cash. That's a real endorsement. That's like, yeah. that's not just you hanging out, you know, downloading. Phantom and, 2. I haven't played that game. I don't whoa. know what that is. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. Um, so, yeah, the whole game of Spies in the Night 1 is just one of the mini games right. in Spies in the Night 2. So they kept one of them uh, and expanded it to like five or six mini games. It's really amazing. Oh, uh, Milton Buddhist has got three games on the card. Oh, so it's a, a multi-card. Very cool. Hmm, I have to take a look into that. Um, RC70 were discussing before the show, last show, um, how to turn the TV show, The Good Place, into a video game. <laughs> have you seen that uh, No, I haven't. Show? People okay. were recommending it to me. It's, I should definitely watch it. It's, it's, it's like a silly comedy, but it's got like, philosophical oh, doesn't base Ted to Danson it? in it? It does. Fuck, okay, I've seen some, yeah. some clips from it. And, uh, yeah, he's he's great in it. Um, and, Cheers, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's all based around, there's a, a philosopher as one of the characters, and, and a lot of the things they do in this show is philosophically based. Like, they take a premise and philosophy and apply it to each of the episodes. Uh, this sounds so up my alley. I like that, and, all that stuff. And, and the, the premise is that they all the people have died in the show, and now they're in the good place, but not really. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> fucking purgatory. Yeah, it's well, it's actually hell. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it because we're three seasons in, they, you figure out, <laughs> the you figure out that like, in the first good season. Good place is funny as hell. But yes, and they can't they can't swear in the show, like they can't swear in heaven, so they say. So they say fork a lot. Oh god! This fork in place is so funny. Yeah, it's it, it, it is plays well the, into it. It's like the oldest parable, but like the perception of heaven would probably be hell. That, you know, that's it, the whole idea. And that's what this whole thing is is kind of about. It's like they think they're in heaven, but it's actually their own hell. Totally. Like, okay, it's, it's really. It's, it's really like funny. there's an old Zizek quote, which is uh, a nightmare is a fantasy realized, <laughs> yes. and I love that so much. It's yeah, like that's the, very condensed. That's a very well put. Point. Yeah. Yeah, it's that kind of it is a, it is it's true though it's like you know yeah another way to put it is don't it, what is it don't wish for you might get what you wish for yeah be careful what be you careful wish careful what you wish for well, you might get it exactly that's what it is anyway that's beside the point um and we're trying to th and i th thought oh what mechanic could they have and it was like well you would because in the tv show it constantly resets every time something goes wrong they just reset the 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 hell that they're in yeah um when it goes bad um so you'd have to reset the game like the game would reset but not everything in the game would reset or you playing the game would have knowledge of things in the game to do next time um that would help you progress the next phase of it but everything would start the same each time or a little slightly yeah. bit different and then it reminded me of a game that reset actually every, after every minute and we we're trying to figure out the name of that game uh, but thrust 26 figured it out it was called minute m-i-n-i-t yeah so you have you play the game one minute at a time and it's just enough to complete the next part of the game um, and then you die. You just die after a minute. And then you get reset back at the beginning of the That's game. That's cool. And it's just a really cool concept. That reminds me. Did you ever play um, Majora's Mask? 
the uh, no, I haven't. It's it's very the concept right? cool is because it's like there's an apocalypse happening and you wear masks that will send you back in time, but oh. you're fixed, so you have like a series uh, like two days to play the game. Oh, okay. and like and it's like there's a ticking time bomb, and you can't really beat the game without <laughs> getting a mask that will send you back in time. Oh, okay. And then you keep, so you're always on. It's like a Groundhog Day, but you're trying to stop. I always thought that was like that's a, a great. That's concept. Like the coolest high concept game. It's not very good in gameplay. Like it's not a great oh, game, no. but but it's all right. Yeah. But like that concept, I was like, that's so killer. But that's like that Brilliant. in a, but a minute where it's like you. You don't run it to yourself though. No. Okay, so you just keep going back, and things are the way you put them. In back, like if you did something a minute go a minute ago, you got the mask. You could go back to that minute, and it was how it was a minute ago. That's 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 the case. Yeah, okay. But then you but you have all your stuff that you've kept with you. All the time. So it's okay. this really weird. It's a very meta game. It's very cool. That's that's for the N sixty four. So it's very sophisticated stuff. People hated yeah. it because Link to the Past. Sorry, um, uh, Ocarina of Time was it's like. Better. People, it's just such a kind of like Zelda game. It's like the most Zelda game of all time. Oh, okay. And then this is like high concept stuff. That's like if Mario all of a sudden was like, you know, a detective and was now like, you I know, having to Mario solve detective. crimes and stuff. There it's... is a Mario detective game, I think. <laughs> there has to be. That's yeah. a, I picked the worst title for a, for ad libbed <laughs> example. Yeah, but I think Mario's know, done just about everything now. But, but you know what I mean? Where it's like people expect a certain essence out of a title and then yes. when it defies that, they're a bit annoyed. They're like... What? Like, why? why am I going back and have? And also, the game was, you know, the N sixty four was definitely for kids. I mean, you know, I don't. It was, it was like a, it was like a more of a yeah. younger audience. Well, most, most of the Nintendo consoles yeah. were geared more towards that because for the longest time they just didn't have any mature totally. rated games on it. And um, and and the Zelda titles specifically. So I yes. think a lot of yeah. the time people, you know, like ten year olds were playing this and like. Yeah. How do I go back in time? It's all, <laughs> you know. Oh, it's not the right target. No, but. Um, so the 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards are coming up in January, Ooh. February. Um, so uh, Shit, we're starting right, to ramp man. up and get ready for those. Um, I'm just going to ask the audience here if anybody knows who the experts are in the 5200 or 7800 uh, Homebrew Realms. Um, we already have, I already have some leads in the 8-bit uh, Atari computer homebrew realm, but if you know, like, who are the people to talk to that b basically would know all the homebrew or have the best idea of what all the homebrew that were released in 2019 so that we can gather a list of them. Um, so if you have any leads, message me in the Atari Age forums or on Facebook or anywhere else. Um, so I can get in touch with them and um, and get that part because we wanted to add in um, Atari 5200, 7800, and 8-bit uh, computer homebrews into wow. into the Atari Awards because they need some love too. Absolutely. And I would I rather... Sean Courtney apparently is their guy. There you go. Perfect. We just got to find Sean. Oh, I'm sure that's easy. So the 7800 Homebrew Podcast. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. If there's a whole podcast about 7800 Homebrew, he's probably the guy Dude, to Dude, we got to meet this guy. If there's someone else doing <laughs> some Homebrew, like, yeah. you know, type show, that's great. Yeah. I think, I think that's an audio only one. That must be, yeah. Which is awfully strange. Because I think I've looked that up before. It's like, how can you do a video game podcast on audio? But apparently, it happens. Makes sense. It's yeah. so much easier to produce, you know. That's an audio the thing. one? Yeah. If Depending, it's not, yes if it's no. not live and you show yeah. up with a Zoom recorder, <laughs> you, you can... I find live easier. Cause I guess you're right. Cause you just yeah. hit record, you hit stop, and you're done the show. There's no post. There's nothing. That is That's a why point. I do this live. It's, it's, it's a lot. So I can do two of them a week. That... I had to do two in post. Yeah, oh my God. I guess Nightmare. you're right that in theory it's se it seems easier, but, yeah. but in practicality, yeah, because you're able to generate so much more content. Yeah, yes, audio only, but occasionally they live stream some gameplay. Okay, okay, ah, that cool. makes sense. Okay. That does make so sense. So they just like to discuss it and talk more about it than than play it. Yeah, I guess they're just two different mediums and two different challenges. And... Yeah. So we just need uh, fifty two hundred. Who is the yeah. expert in the Atari fifty two hundred realm? I know not a lot of games are produced for fifty two hundred homebrew. 
Um, are there even enough there has to give to an be, award? Uh, there has to be some, and there's got to be yeah. someone that yeah. knows someone. Because I know there's a crossover between the 8-bit computer and 5200 because they they use need, the same architecture. We need someone who knows a guy who knows a guy. That's right. Give us some hookups on these 5200. <laughs> so Hungers. on uh, Monday, I went to the arcade oh, in New shit. West again. There's my third sticker. Oh, God, that's great. I love that you've got them there. Yeah, and um, so I set some new records in <laughs> Satan's Hall, local records. That delights me to know it, man. <laughs> Little do they know, James. Yeah. Earl O'Brien rolls in. Just like, I am here. <laughs> hey, guys. Ready to beat some records. They're not that great of a score, but they're, you know, they're good for me what? and obviously good for good enough to be number one in that arcade. You're, you're competing with some dad who hasn't done it in years. <laughs> right. Rolls in, throws down a couple quarters, is like, hey kid, try this out. That's right. The uh -huh. kid looks over, James is just... <laughs> <laughs> so I got... I, I currently hold the the record, local record, for Satan's Hollow. Damn. Bosconian. Um, and... Another one. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Um, and I was playing Gyrus as well, and I got third in Gyrus. And I posted some pictures and on Instagram, and it posts on Twitter as well. And then somebody replied to me on Twitter saying, oh, you know, asking questions about how I, how, whether it was on easy mode or hard mode or how, oh, I, yeah. how I was playing. And I was like, oh, this guy's interested in how, what I was doing. So I replied back to him. And then I, after I replied back to him, I looked at his... Um, at his profile, yeah, and it said, uh, multi world record holder in Gyrus. Whoa, <laughs> so I it's looked like Michael Jordan being like, So, how's your how's your, how's how's your three point shot? Yeah, <laughs> so thank god you know more about basketball. I'm trying to riff yeah. about I can't that's even all, find that's one. Enough, I know. Um, and so he holds 11 world records Holy in Gyrus shit. in the arcade. Um, his name is Paul Streifel. Um, and, and I was like, oh, the fire button, you have to con constantly press the fire button in gyrus. Yeah. You can't hold it down. So I was like, I said, oh, my, my wrist is getting really sore pressing the fire button yeah. constantly. And it's not a quick game. It's not a five minute game to get the rec these, the third place. I think I was playing for like 15, 20 minutes. It's so rough, man. Carpal tunnel. Yeah. So he gave me some tips on how to. I don't you know, press the fire button. Oh, yeah. this, that's the dude to get tips from, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, God, that's amazing. You Wonder said, what's going on with that 2600 work in progress of Satan's Hollow? We will see. Yeah, and then... Uh, uh, I know that I supposed to made a, a proof of concept on that one, so uh, yeah, we'll see what to... happens with that. I can't uh, talk yeah. about too much. Yeah, <laughs> but I, <laughs> we'll and see. The champ games pipeline. That's a dream, though. Oh, God yeah, knows. anything that ends up... Um, set also for the 7800, Trebor in the Atari Age forums manages the game packs for 7800 Homebrew, so he's also a person to talk to, for That's, sure. Those are good two leads, man. Ground Great Trooper. Great leads. Thank you very ground much, Ground Trooper. Trooper, you are holding up your fucking title. Yep, You're so. in there on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody has any leads on 5200, like anybody who is like the person to talk to, the top guy, even somebody who like makes the best kind of 5200 conversions anything like that um from 8-bit um so uh let's get on to the actual i'm your 7800 go-to guy fuck man ground troopers <laughs> in it hopefully next year with champ i made some more sprites oh so that's actually like a legit thing people aren't just being like yo yeah i want this because i got a <laughs> lot of things i want but is it gonna happen is the question don't know that's cool there's a lot on the plate for champ games yeah. coming up next year he's he's got a bunch of games but uh it, going but, on but and if i suppose this is it's like there I, if there's actually a conversation happening that's we'll better see. than no conversation <laughs> it is it is uh there you go oh trust good. doesn't do modern stuff Ooh. i don't know what that means okay so, we're going to be playing Dog Walk, and we're lucky enough to have the uh, programmer, the developer, Whoa. in the chat with us. This so is good, this is good news. It is. It's very... I love it when the developer's in the chat with us. You ready? Got it. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know if that was on, too, but it still should work. You should be good now. Okay. Should be coming. 
coming up on the screen. Sick Genesis. Okay, what are we doing? Last one. Dog walk. Okay, cool. Should I hit it or do you want me to wait uh, for a sec? No, you can go for it now. I'll just launch the game. It might not necessarily. Oh, cool. That's a cool. That's a cool title. That's a classic. That's a classic design. Oh yeah. And it's got great little music. Oh, that's a very unique sounding music too. Yes. Um, so this is a brand new build of it. Uh, he passed it to me today, so this really? isn't this isn't out in the Atari Age wow, forums yet. It, so thank it, you very much. That's, it's always cool when that happens. I feel very honored. Yes. Oh, it's great. And nice little vertical. Um, when well, the kind of style of the sort of typeface is sort of slanted and yeah, stuff, it's, it's not very straight cool. On. It's very stylized. Yeah. And I can't read that bottom text. It's only three high. It looks like a C L R Z R C. Maybe. Yeah, it seems right. I don't know. It's so interesting. It doesn't really apply to anything that his name or anything. So it might just be a, like a. It might be a design. It might be. I don't know. Those look like letters. Like as as best as letters as you can make with yeah, three. Yeah, uh, What's it say? It's just grass. Yeah, that's oh, possible. Oh, it's just grass. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes more sense. But it's not green. He could have made it green. Maybe he just wanted that whole pink and yeah, blue. Yeah, it's the style thing, the you style. know. Um, so this is Dog Walk, a 2019 work in progress by uh, Wo Wo Wota. Wota. Forgotten already. Wota. AKA Newly. Uh, first posted about August 28th. Really new. Um, the size is 4K. Uh, this is the only game he's made so far for oh, the 2600. Man. You can download one version before this in the Atari Age forums, and we have never played this before because it's brand new. Um, and a message I got from him this morning about this new version of it. Hi James, some good souls from Atari Age helped me in optimizing my game, so I added a few sounds. I have some spare bites left, and later I will decide what I will do with them to finish it. I must say the community over here is great. 100% agree. Dude, it's Amazing very nice. community. Most gaming communities is so toxic, and this is just beautiful. Like, I guess, <laughs> yeah, like, so holy. supportive. It's really, really it's Unreal, nice. man. Most places I hang out on is just, like, the most Brutal. horrible things. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's the they Wild West. Don't care. Stealing from you, conning each other. It's such an... It's beautiful. It's <laughs> what? I think it's the size. It's just the right size. It's not too big that everybody is just there. It's not a general thing that people just come in and out of. They're, the people that are here really care. I feel like there's, like, legitimate love for this topic yeah. and that's something I always connect to it doesn't matter who you are if you love the thing you're doing I'm gonna love it too but yep. a lot of people uh, guys from the DMT museum is looking <laughs> DMT? That's the. I don't know that acronym. Uh, that's Please a, type it out. That's a kind of um, drug that you can take that simulates <laughs> death. No, it's not DMT. Yeah? Is it? No, the no, it's Trexel, something else. Um, it's a different acronym, isn't it? I, I believe. Oh, maybe it is DMT. I believe DMT is. Well, that's quite a museum then. Yeah, man, that's, that's <laughs> where you go to a different dimension and yeah. experience creatures and come back in 15 uh, minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm sending you the new version in case you managed to get it before the show starts, and I did. Thank you. I do check. Uh, my mail and everything right before the show um so this is the write-up let me just uh do, 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 one second what he posted oh no where's the original post here oh i'm gonna have to go to it oh i don't have it here uh that he posted in the uh atari age forums introducing his game Please type out what DMT means. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we'll find out if, if we're thinking about the same DMT, man. Yeah. Oh, he says, hello, I'm relatively <laughs> new here, and I'd like to present a game I've been working on for a while. First, let me tell you something about myself. I'm an 8-bit and 16-bit geek from the Czech Republic. I'm a professional you already. <laughs> I'm a professional sound engineer who works on high-budget games. <laughs> I and love I, you even more. Yeah, and I've been in the demo scene for only two, for over 21 years now. Sound I, is the unsung hero of, of oh, everything. Yeah. Everything. And that's why the, the music at the beginning is so yeah, good dude. and unique. Nice little tiny loop. Um, I participated in a plethora of productions, demos, intros, games. I always liked the restriction of... Uh, I always liked restrictions, and Atari 2600 seems perfect for my taste. Well, you want restrictions? You're this in the right place. place. Man. I do sports, especially ice hockey and inline hockey. Ooh. 
Uh, now for the game itself, it's a single player game. You're some guy who lives near a, some huge factory. And you have a dog. The problem uh, are common deadly acid rains and acid snowstorms because of the permanent pollution. One freezing day, your doggy really wants to go for a walk. So you go out despite imminent acid snowstorm. Did I mention that if a snowflake hits you, you die instantly? Oh, surely I did. You control both yourself and your dog. You can go to the left or to the right. If you press the uh, fire button, you tell your dog to stay. Okay. If you press it again, you tell your dog to come. He will come and stand nearby you. You and your dog only need to stay away from those deadly snowflakes for as long as possible. Hi, Atari. Speak of this the devil. This is my cat, Atari. This is the dog-like <laughs> cat. Yeah. Whenever there's two cats, there's always one that's a bit more like a dog. And the other one's oh, more I like a cat, I think. Um, <clears throat> snowflakes come in waves, slow falling and fast falling. After every wave, the delay between seeing a snowflake and when it actually starts falls fall to fall decreases. So the game becomes harder and harder. Color and black and white pauses the game. Okay, let's go for it. He's, you know how to do dude, it. Dude, he's like... Can't do dog death. Too sad. It's true. I'm just like, I just don't want him to eat my headphones. Well then, uh, give them to me. Okay. I'll put them up on the... There we go. Up here. Thanks, dude. I will definitely see if he jumps up. Yeah, that's... Okay, okay so now, I, now I feel less stressed. Jump okay. into it. So that's you and your dog. Okay, and so, and then fire makes him stay. Stay. And then you press the fire button again, and he'll come and w uh, and follow you. Okay, cool. So what's the again? Fuck. What's the goal? Uh, not to get hit. <laughs> okay, and like to keep my dog. Keep your dog from getting um, touched. <laughs> doesn't get killed, everyone. It's all good. It's, it's true, all good. man. He just doesn't want snow on his deadly acid snow on his back. I and ain't you don't a either. Fan of that. Oh God, Atari's so cute, but like I'm playing a game, <laughs> so I can't appreciate it. You know. Uh, it says it's a common 4K game without any technical achievements. Although the concept is simple, I think... Design's so cool, man. I love the typeface style and this design of this guy. I love the little swooshy hair. Oh, yeah, and the bounce of his hair and the walk. He's got a bounce to his walk, and the dog has a bounce to his walk. It's so cute. Um, although the concept is simple, I think it could be fun for a while. Uh, I had more complex music in mind, but I quickly ran out of space. Sorry about that. 4K is ghost. It's very small. Time. Yeah, I had some problem with sound effects, but had to, but some had to go. Recently, I saved about 80 Whoa. bytes. Learning is fun, so I, so I may do something about it. Despite oh, God. I'm from intense, the, man. from the EU region, I made the game primarily for NTSC <laughs> regions. Oh. oh, you got hit. 82 points. Can somebody type that in the chat? 82. 82. Erlen, A82, please. Oh, I'm too far away to type it. Um, I'm just going to leave made a the pal dog on his own for a bit and see if like that's easier. I made a PAL conversion too. My friend PHOB made the gorgeous graphics and the rest is mine. Oh, I had some help with graphics. They start to arc though and that's when it gets a bit tricky. Yeah. I haven't tested it on real hardware. But I'd like to make my own cartridges. Curious how that will go. I may release a source code on request, but it's a mess. No! I've limited... Pro oh, no. That wasn't as good of a game. I th well, I thought I would Don't leave... record that one. I thought I would leave the dog in his space oh, and, see if that was, and see if that was easier to do. Well, I think it's actually easier with with the dog following. being close. Because the problem is is that then I had to like double. You know what I mean? You have to hit it and then move versus this you can just move. Um, if you're far enough away, the dog will move towards you. So if you press well, no, the button if I there, leave it right, he, he won't. He just no. stick. And then press a button. He'll go towards you. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, I haven't tested on real hardware, and we are testing it right now, so it works perfectly. Works wonderfully. So please tell me what you think about it. Is there something I can do to make the gameplay more fun? Whoa, it's like arc towards me. It's heat seeking. Heat seeking missiles. Um, so I got a message from Newly. I asked him to give some more detail on his background. Um, and I uh, said a great music in the intro. Thanks for noticing the music. Everyone else praised the graphics, which is great. Of course, I think this type of music is unusual for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, which it is. It is very unusual. Only in like demos would you hear that kind of music. Um, yes, I'd like to share no! my story. 
Oh, 73. <sighs> Didn't beat your old one. Well, it's hard, man. Like, because this is a tricky one. Cause it, oh, like... a Milton Buddhist um, suggests that the dog run off the screen when he gets hit. It's less traumatic. It's a good idea, man, because he just crumples to the ground like he's been... <laughs> like he's been... Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's 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 a cool game because it's actually like tricky to nail. Because um, the dog doesn't follow you exactly; it well, follows the, behind. Well, see, you. the hard thing is, is it's like the hard part is that this is easy because it's like they only go down. But when they arc, it's hard to know. Like, see that? Yeah, starting it's, to arc. Yeah, it's starting to sort of arc. So like, y you can kind of get like an easy. So I have to kind of watch, see there. Oh, that was close. Well, it's hard because it's like, I, like I don't know how to, like I don't know, I, I don't have an approach yet to really, to really deal with it. I think it's, I did better when I just had him attached, and yeah, I'm probably not gonna let him sit. No, dog death out. Dog's just sitting down. He's taking a rest. He's not dead. Uh, I think, yeah, man. I think it's so fucked up when dogs get hurt because they're <laughs> so dependent on us. You know what I mean? It's just, it's like, it's like watching a little kid. You know, it's really. It's messed up. I mean, <laughs> any animal getting hurt is sad, you know? It is, yeah. It's so sadder than, like, a human being, because a human being has a chance to defend itself versus <laughs> an animal doesn't. Um, yeah, if you don't like this game's premise, oh. you'll really hate the next game's premise. It's twisted. Oh, man, I don't twisted. mind at all, but, like, yeah, I, some still, I always sensitive. have my, like, you know... My PC brain. Yep. Uh, yes, I like to share my story. I come from a poor family. While some of my friends already had uh, Atari 800, C64, Specky clones, or even Amigas in the 80s, I had nothing. You didn't have a th one either, right, James? I had a C64. Yeah. Yeah, so I did have that. Well, you was... didn't have an Atari. No, I had no consoles. I, I wanna... Ever. I've never had a console See, I think until that's... I was able to buy my own when I was moved out. I think it, it makes sense in a way. Yeah. No. Oh, Whoa, you just saved that. It's dog. just hard because it's like you know it's hard to like. like <laughs> I think I'm getting a bit better though. Well, I'm getting there. Uh, one day my parents bought me Rambo games. Yay! Uh, suspiciously cheap video game console. <laughs> with my brother, we had much fun no. with it. And oh, 58, you get it worse. Uh, uh <laughs> yeah, it's just. Maybe just let him follow you. That's how you did it at the beginning, right? I, I, I have been. It's just sometimes you end up... Um... Sometimes you don't want him to follow you because well, you're like, don't, it's don't. Just, it's, <laughs> it's, tr it's a cool game because I'm fine. It's the dog at this point. Well, that I think that's mostly the premise. Yeah, you have because, to work out, look out for yourself. Well, but that's the easy part. I think the hard part is is that your my movements are easy to do, but the dog's movements. You know, I mean, if it's if something's going wrong, it's not easy to quickly <laughs> recover it, right? Yeah. So it's a, and it's, so there's a level of prediction, but the hard thing is it's hard to predict which way it's going to arc. Like, is it going to go left? Is it going to go right? And then uh. when it goes fast, it's kind of like. You know, so there's. Now, does it always do the, does the snow or the rain always go towards you, or no. does it always go towards the dog? It just it really depends. Like I'll have to watch that. Like, see, see, this one's just, just straight. straight down so far. But see, like now some of these are gonna arc, right? Like yeah, you have to kind of keep. Oh, now it's arcing. Yeah. We just don't know. It's like, it, it just depends. Oh, now they're random. Some right? of them are arcing. Some are some arcing. arcing. So, like, for example, like, like they're like... 79. Like, how do I... How, what do I do? Stay far away from them. But then, if, but then if I leave them, if I leave the dog, well, then he'll just get blasted, and I can't protect him. <laughs> it's a hard game. It's, oh, God, it's tricky. I'm excited to see how you do. Uh, I mean, obviously, my... you're probably going to do better because you always we'll do. See. But uh... my brother, we had, with my brother, we had much fun with it. And many years later, I found out, in fact, it was a Chinese 2600 ripoff with ste several stolen games included. No, I still have it, and is probably so, uh, worth something now. Later, we got a PC, and I started making music, and even wrote some games in Turbo Pascal. The games were pretty bad, and soon I realized it was a far better computer musician. So I began. began became game and a demo scene musician and sound designer. Mostly recently, I worked as an audio director on a medieval RPG game called Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh, cool. I should play that. I love RPGs. Yeah. I'll play any RPG, basically. <laughs> I mean, I won't play it all the way through but if I don't like it, it, but I'll try any RPG because it's my favorite. 
wonder what uh, I guess that's on Steam. What's it on, man? Say. Let us know. I'd love to look to play it up. It. I haven't seen him say anything in the in that's the chat okay. for a long time. Maybe he had to go. Oh shit. So it was eight PM his time. Okay, so. Let me look that up and see what platforms that's on. Uh Milton uh -oh. Buddha says I would make the dog run away if hit. Finds an owner that won't oh, take him for a walk in acid rain. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, 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 my threshold's about seventy. Yeah, I can't seem I can't seem to get it past seventy. Then it starts getting crazy. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, got a good rating. Ninety-one percent Google users liked it. Seven out of ten on Steam. Eight out of ten on IGN. Wow. Uh, so this came out I'm on. I'm always looking for a new RPG. Uh, yeah, Steam, PS4, and Xbox One. Whoa. So it came out uh, February 13th last Computers year. Computers are the places to play RPGs, in my opinion, because they're so complicated that, in general, it's yeah, nice to have... Yeah, there's a lot of controls. How do you do? Not good? 41. Uh, it's called Kingdom Come Deliverance, and he was the audio... The person who made this game is the audio director oh, cool. on that. Dude, doing um, audio Steam for game. an RPG would be so much fun. Oh, there's so much to it. So many details. And, f and discovering he was the director. He's like... Just finding the sounds down. for all those really specific things is really cool. Yeah. I've been, an a I've been active in 8-bit and 16-bit communities for years, making music for different old-school computers. Recently, I got some game ideas, and I was thinking how I could bring them to life. I was looking around for an easy solution from a programmer perspective, and that's when I found uh, Batari Basic. The good thing was I was coming back to the roots of my very first gaming console. So this is made in Batari Basic. Wow. It's, it's really good for Batari Basic, actually. Usually Batari Basic has a look to it and a feel to the games. But he's, he's really made it his own and, and adapted it. Uh, the idea for my game was a funny accident. One person seriously asked me if I was... If I'm able to do something, and still instead of telling him no, I can't, I replied no, but I can walk my dog. But I can walk a dog. I was just trying to be funny, and some people. Did you see that? Seventy-four. No. no, but did you see it, it? It literally arced, like it curved and hit him. Oh no! Because it's aiming at a certain point. Oh god. The one for Steam. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's what it's called. I don't know how you dodge Hi, something Fobinar. that like, arcs towards you. That's harsh. Uh, and he can't move the dog faster. He only goes as fast <laughs> as he moves. Do, 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 do. It's, you have to predict it, but I don't know yeah. how to predict it. Just yet. keep them far away from them as possible. But then they arc towards you at a certain point. Yeah. So see, like that's easy. They go yeah, straight. They're going straight down. So it's like, but then I think I think the problem is I'm just not good at this arcing business, which just happens around seventy, which is why I can't get right. past seventy. I mean, I can a bit, but uh, later I wondered. Uh, I was trying to be funny and some people actually laughed. Later I wondered what could be the challenge in walking a dog. So I put a game concept together in my mind and finally wrote it in Batari Basic. And he says, oh, 8 p.m. seems perfect time. I'll be there. And he was. Hey, but he dude. he said anything. He's still here. Hopefully he's still here. Um, and he posted in the comments. Thank you so much for your comments. Um, this is uh, replies back to people saying I like your game, etc., etc. I really like the game and the concept. Uh -oh. I'm really glad you like the game and, and uh -oh. graphics. I'd like to keep oh. the game 4K. Oh, oh 71. Well, I was defending the dog, and then I got hit this time. I'd like to keep the game 4K, but I consider my next project to be a 16 or 32K game. So he's going to make a big game after this one. And you know he's up for it, because he makes games for modern games. Oh, hell yeah, man. You know? um, I have to learn a lot of things. First... I'll first finish this game, of course. Um, what about game difficulty? Is it too easy? Too hard for you? What is your maximum score? On NTSC, I made t like 280. Yeah, man. I'm oh my a god, 280. Failure. <laughs> and mostly I die because of my misjudgments. That's 100% this game. Um, Blue Swimmer said, It's a neat idea. The sprites are great. I believe there should be some sort of animation sound attached to telling the dog to stay. Uh, though I didn't realize this was a game feature in the game initially. I thought I had encountered a bug. Perhaps a sort of whistle-like effect would work for that. Yes, whistling was one of the sounds that had to go because of the ROM space. Now I have some spare bytes, so I'll have to try and re-implement it. No whistle yet. 
It's not what some of the. It's not what he put in, did he? When you press the button, it doesn't whistle, does it? No, no. Um, Lilipogenkapawen. No. Seventy-seven. Oh. Oh God. Cool game. What if it was called Rescue Dog? And if you get hit and die, you start controlling the dog. You can run over and jump on the dude's chest and res resuscitate him. And if the dog gets hit, he lays on his back with his legs straight up in the air, and you can go put him up on his legs again. So you can kind of, you get a little respite. That would be a kind of a cool add-on. If the dog gets hit, you can go over the dog and rescue him again. That would be awesome. Cause that's... If, the if you get hit, the dog can go and rescue you. Or if you get hit, you're just done, because the dog can't do anything. <laughs> it said jump on your chest and resusc resuscitate you. But yeah, something like that. Um, and only if you both get hit, it's, you're done. I would like to see those animations by your friend. He said, aha, that's actually a great idea. Or your death could trigger story mode when your doggy becomes a stray dog. Oh, good move. Good well, there's move. only so much he can do in some cases. He has to become the leader of a dog pack and later finds a new human buddy. Fuck but this, yeah. But this time he can't lose him. But if you lose your doggy, you could become an anti-dog breeding activist and try to save those poor dog creatures from dog that's breeders. correct, man. Anyway, dog dude reviving in a time limit is actually a good idea. If I ever make a 1632k version, I'll consider it. I guess it's just See, I'm too at much. 70, so I'm gonna... This is like my threshold. This is for whatever, it. for whatever reason. You can do it. You're getting there. Almost to your top score again. Oh! Did you see that? When you... Because it, it, it went off to the left and then hooked. It did. Like, 80, how, so how do you How do you defend against something that, like... That literally, because 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 it was going to the left, so yeah. I moved to the I moved to dodge it, and then it hooked. So like, do I go to the, the opposite direction that it's going to? I don't know. Call the dog. Calls to the dog do sound like whistling. So eighty three is Let my just best. Hear it. And yeah, there's whistling. There's a little bit of yeah. There's sounds. Let's just watch James get like four hundred. <laughs> no, how it goes, I don't man. think so. The level you were at in the eighties was like. Those are going really fast. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see. It's, there's, a, there's a long tradition of... <laughs> yeah. Of, of it, go, it goes either way, I find. You know, sometimes you crush or sometimes... Oops, that was just dumb. Terrible. That's okay. Terrible. I think probably the center is a good spot to um, start from because if you're already at the edge... You can't really do much, yeah. Yeah, um, but you have to also just have to dodge. Um, it's it's hard because in theory it's just the dog's movement is very slow. So <laughs> if you if if it's in danger, there's only so much you can do. There's only so much time. Yeah, and that's the tricky part. So there is something to be said about like him being separate from you because then if you call him, it'll be faster than you moving. But then yeah. but now, then you have to dodge two things, which yeah. is like. And those arcing is pretty rough because there's some situations around 80 where I just don't know what I could have done, you know? Yeah, you just can't move fast enough. We can't move fast enough and, like, I'm moving in the right direction. It just arcs. Um, I find that it's a good idea to always keep the lead on the dog so that you can move him instantly. Yeah. So don't stand with the dog. Stand, stand like a little bit oh, away no. from it. It's in the middle of two. I yeah. knew if I moved one where I was trying to thread them. And you can't I don't really know what I just got. And you can't move good. him um quickly. That's the hard part. No. Whenever he becomes a stray, you can play Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god. That commercial. Do you know that commercial? No, I don't. It's a commercial for um, the anti-abuse of animals. Oh, God. And, oh, my God. I'm doing way worse. Way worse than you. Well, let's <laughs> see. Um, and they're showing all these sad, sad animals in cages. And they've, they've got matted fur and just, like, you know, all the stains from crying and just 
Dude, terrible, terrible conditions. The, you know what's so crazy and is these serious. are the animals we like, and this yes. is how we're treating them. Yeah, this is the <laughs> these are the animals we actually we, we like. Eat. These are the animals we've bred to like behave the way we want over generations, and we're still shitty to them. Yeah. It's so sad, you know. How did he get four hundred and eighty? How is that possible? Especially because, <laughs> you see, right now it's manageable because of the speed, right? Did you see that, though? That's like the... Yeah, I, I think they go for the dog. Do they, they really do. Maybe so, it's to do with the whistling. So you, I, think, I think there really is something to be said about, like, leaving him, like... Like, I think this has to be the technique to do it. Because the technique we're using is not working. No, it's not. It, 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 it works up until about 80. And then 80, you just die. So, like... <laughs> but then the hard part now is that you have to defend against two different things. So, it's, like, twice as hard. But, yeah, see? It's more instant. It is. It's right away. So... But that barely moved him. I know. This is the he's thing. So is he's slow. He's like, really slow. I don't think you can dodge... Um, and especially when they're arcing towards you, like there's are they going really... towards me always or the dog? Ah, uh, both. But you see how they kind of banana, right? And that's really difficult to defend against. And it feels like it's got some AI. It feels like it aims towards you because um, Cause the direction I move, it aims towards me. Like we got to nail that down. Whether they always go towards me or the dog and me, because if they always go towards me. Then, then there's some defense against Then there's defense it. that you're luring them essentially away from the dog. I think it's kind of, honestly, I think it's both. I think, you know, yeah. good, but the thing is, is these lower levels don't, you don't see a lot of arcing, but then when we get into like a certain point, it just starts to happen. Can't tell on that one. Uh, I need to have one that's, so that's going towards me. Those, it's hard to tell. That was hard to tell. I was arcing towards the it dog. It did, because it was going straight at first, Yeah, right? and then as soon as you moved, it moved with you. So it has a little bit of homing. It's tough, right? Because there's like now these are so fast that there's no way you can really correct them. You have to just... You have to sort of try to predict the unpredictable. Yeah. Oh, God. You're doing fairly well, though, man. Yeah. Don't. See, and then what could you do? Because you're up against the wall, so like the mm -hmm. only way... Type J83. Make sure you focus first. I think that's a bit the same as me. I think so. Oh, it's S. Ramirez already got it. Thanks, dude. Thank you very much. No! Nine points. The blue one goes after the dude. Yellow one goes after your dog. Oh, that's so makes so much sense. Because uh, because of the color coding. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, that helps a lot, man. That's a really good tip. That does make sense. And the blue, green one maybe goes. At, we'll have to watch what the green one does. Maybe it never green goes. Green one after. might be sort of neutral. Yeah. That helps. Because I know one is the ball and one is the missile. And one is the other missile. But yeah, see that blue one arc towards you? Yeah. Yeah. Versus... Ah, uh, yes. Okay. That the orange one is sense. going after the dog. And then the blue so one... So I like... only have to worry about the... Really, the orange one. The green one so far is straight down. If you can watch the That's green ones better. for now... That's much better. Yeah, it seems to be straight. Well, it's straight right now, so... So really, you should just be leading the dog as far away from the... Ah, uh, it makes sense now. From the yellow as possible. Yeah. Yay! Oh, my God. Okay, thank God there's a technique to this. Because it just felt like... <laughs> that was like, not explained. I did. That felt really like... I was like, yes, man... Yes, there we go. Green one is straight down. And then Damn. the blue... Ooh. Oh. Yeah, because it arced towards you. 84. So instantly, I'm already better. No wonder you can get 400. <laughs> yeah, okay. Still challenging, but... He said you can't stop until one of you beats a hundred. Well, think, with that, we're so close. We can, I think we, we can get a hundred yeah, now get that we know that. Definitely. Fact, There's oh. a little bit of luck for sure in this game. Like, if you're jammed up against the wall, like, 
there's only so much you can do to move, you know? Yeah. That's, I think that's a, this is like a difficult one because you have to predict the unpredictable. So there is just a, a luck element, for sure. You go back up against the wall there. Nope, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Nope, come here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's a good technique, man. That's the I way think it, so. It's the way to do it. Because it, it's like, otherwise, it's too slow. You can't end it. You're also too close. Uh-oh. Whoa. Yeah, it's easy to all of a sudden like forget about your guy. It's hard, though. Because... He needs high score support. Yes. Yeah, that would be good. That would be awesome. I don't know how much room he has left in the 4K. I think he doesn't have much. Probably not. Um, even though it's not much to... Look how slow these are now, and look how fast it is later. Oh, it goes it's, so it's insanity. fast later. Dude, the only thing I might suggest... And the guy moves way faster, so really you're looking after your dog. Yeah, I'd say that it's, it's, it's defend your dog game. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, it's so hard because you're, down. I don't, this is an interesting technique, but I don't know if it actually serves us later. I don't know what technique serves us, though, <laughs> you know, because it's, it's pretty difficult. Because there, it just feels like there's an element of luck there, because I don't know how you defend against that, given the, the position you're in, right? Because you find yourself in a position, and you can't really change it that well. So you kind of have to get yourself in a place that works, yeah. but I don't know how you predict... So the, I think it, it, there is a luck element to this game that's oh, really for sure. hard. You don't know when, where those things are going to be. Yeah, and and the, and you can't really change so easily until. Because yeah, we we understand what's happening now, but I don't know if that actually helps <laughs> us. It it does. Um, it does uh, a lot. As much as 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 it, you know, just shows us our death. <laughs> you know. Like it's it's it's, I'm, it's nice because I understand what's happening, which is before I just didn't understand what was going on. Oof. Let's see, uh, that was all intentional though. Very lucky and close, but yeah. Well, you basically made the one choice you could to defend against it, and it happened to work. Yeah. And that's hard because if that one had arc towards you because you were on the right, you'd be dead. It's so it's like yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a big it's, it's element just, of chance it's going on. It's just a hard here. one. And see yeah, this yeah, is good because yeah, they're they're, they're kind of all there. positioned, but then Stay over there. You come over here, yeah. See, I don't have to worry about Oh my god. But then you die because Okay, here, you play for bed and okay. I'm gonna play it again after. Okay. S. Ramirez says, I really like the movement of each character. I think it... Yep, yeah, 85. Thanks, S. Ramirez. Yeah, it's all about keeping your dog, calling it at the right times, um, keeping your dog away from the orange. That yes. is your number one goal. Keeping yes. on the opposite side. Because you can run away from the blue, no problem. Yeah, I don't think it's a, that hard to do high score support. He just needs a, a little bit more uh, RAM. I don't know how much RAM he has left to keep a score. No. Oh, you should stay on that side to see the blue. You can divert away from the. Now dog. that I'm understanding, like how it's arcing and why. Uh, Thrust says, for variants, oh. how about some power-ups falling from the sky, which the dog has to catch. Extra points, faster dog. That Ooh. would be, dude, X faster dog would fucking change the <laughs> whole game. Oh, yeah, I like that. Um, keep in mind, he is doing it in Batari Basic, and he's already used the two sprites, uh, the two player characters up. Um, it could be a different color ball. Um... Instead of the green, well, that is a bit more advanced programming. Right now, he's got it on pretty basic. He's got the grass is green, the ball is green, and the two missiles are the colors of the players. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
I could have um, just left them. It might have been the right choice. So to make it, it could be a long green ball. Change the, the length of the ball. That would make it a little bit easier to program. Make it like four wide, and then the dog can catch the, the long green. Um, the long green, and then that could power him up and make him a little bit faster. That would be very good. Uh oh. Oh, they're falling straight still, so you're very, very lucky in that. <laughs> yeah. But it's hard, like, again, I don't know how to necessarily make the adjustments if... No? Just keep your dog away from the orange. That's all you gotta do. And then... Keep and then on I the have opposite to side of the orange. And I have to not die, too. That's why I keep them always on the far, far left. As far left as possible. Because then I can always run them to the right. Or whatever extreme. So, as soon as the orange appears on the left, you run him to the right. Yeah, man. So he's safe from that. But you have to watch your blue and make sure the blue is diverted away from him. By, by you moving away. Yeah, exactly. There you go. No, I'm no, no, fucked. No. Like, what do I do? You should have ran to the right. You, you should be I, on the left of him. You well, I was trying right to like, I was trying to like, can I try one more? I just yeah. see if I can. <laughs> I was just trying to like, well, I was trying to get him to the left. you beat your high score. No. No? Oh, you beat me? Yeah, you did. No, you be beat your high score. No, I was at 83. Oh, was my first game. okay. Don't get cornered. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Don't put yourself in the corner because you can't move the dog. But then. then it's also like, how do I adjust him to like, get him to a good position, you know? Cause yeah. like, cause you it's, readjust him back then. Okay, but then that, but then that's what happened is like he okay, was so like in the middle, so I was like, let's get him over to the left, and then I moved to the left, and then oh. they were all lined up. So it's one of those things where it's like sometimes I'm trying to like defend against, I'm trying to get them in a more strategic place, but then that kills me. It's a balance. So I think it's like I think once I get to the high levels, it's just a matter of like. Um, it doesn't matter whether he's perfectly in this, like where he is. You as see, long like, as you're on the opposite side of him, so you can start him moving. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I just want to beat my high score. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I want to, like, the you can do it. I want the first game I play to not be the best one. <laughs> that, yeah, that is it's sort of silly, you know? So, yeah. so, see, right here, if I were to, to get, like, now I'd have to corner myself if I wanted to, like, you see, because, like, I can try. You do it when you can, really, I think. See, like, I don't know what I can do do now. Oh, Tied your high score. Fucking goddamn it. <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh, uh, I was watching on a friend's big screen and went offline for oh, a while. Oh, it's all good, man. It's all good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't get cornered for sure, man. Yeah, that is the tactic. Do not get yourself cornered. Yeah, thrust suggestions, good one, man. I like that power up where the dog could go a little we bit need faster. A, we, for, well, we need especially a, on the higher levels. Oh my god! Well, we need a power up of some kind because at the moment it just feels like um, I'm standing in like a rifle range and people are just shooting bullets at me and I'm just dodging them. You know, it's like I want some ability to like you know do something. Can't do anything against my. Well, but I mean, I think with our new technique, we can reliably hit about 80 each time. So that's certainly oh, an yeah. improvement, which is a big deal. Yeah, you have a little bit of a grace period every once in a while. Yeah, so you can readjust then if you need to. But yeah, there's only so much you can do. Man. Oh, that's probably the way to do it. Yeah, rather than you... Yeah, bring him to you and then trade spots. That's a good idea. Yeah. Damn it. I... But I don't know how you defend against that, right? Because that was one where that it's was, like, it was... if there's impossible, because you'd have to be on the other side of him. That was the problem. I was not in the right position for it. And that's where it's just, there's just a, a chance element to this game, you know? There is... Yeah, there is. Because if you're in the wrong position, there's nothing you can do. No. You don't have enough to react. But you can't time. predict the position, so it's like it's a it's a cool <laughs> it's like playing a game of chess where like it randomly throws you in a different position each time. <laughs> it's like, okay, so now he's a queen up, okay now he's a rook down. You're like, What? <laughs> I can't I, I, I can't defend didn't plan for this. I can't, there's no ability to okay. <laughs> Do 
they always uh, appear in the same. Yeah, blue, orange, green. Um, no. some it's peers. Should be green next. I'll keep my eye open on that. You're right. There might green. be a pattern. Nope. Nope. No pattern. <laughs> Which is good. He's saying he's considering a 32k remake. Oh, yeah, you could do a lot with this. Oh, yeah, definitely. I love this concept, man. The fact that I'm, like, frustrated playing it. I'm, like, good frustrated. I'm not bad frustrated. That's yeah. what I'll say. For sure. There's a big difference between, like... Oh, see, that's tough. Ooh, like, what do you do? Oh, I was trying to go the opposite way. Yeah. Damn. That's, that's the, what a ceiling, hey? We, we can't seem to get past, like, 84, 83. No. That seems to be our, like... Um, Hard limit. The best we can do. But this is really good for 4K. Great animation, great music, great gameplay, which is the most important part. Yeah, so, um, so like, uh, this weekend I was moving like crazy and one of my friends oh, yeah. who's helping me move um she's she makes she always says yes to everybody so she makes lots of mistakes so her cousin's roommate's dog needed dog sitting cousin's roommate's, roommate's dog. dog and so she said yes okay. and i'm like why would you ever say yes to that you She's have no obligation to this person you have none so and so she emailed them very specifically being like okay i'm moving and um i have a lot of work going on so i can stay over the night but oh, like i can't God. do the daytime and they're like no problem we're so happy to have you <laughs> i bet and um so then she went to like look after this dog and she didn't realize that this dog had been rescued from like a dumpster in Romania. What? It was insane. It was the craziest. Oh, see that's arced, right? Yep. Like, how do you I tried to move and get him over, but it was just not enough time. Um, how did you get 400? How 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 how? He says seriously, I'll try to tweet gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, there needs to be something, or maybe we're missing a technique. Yeah, definitely. That would help us, but I can't. I can't see it right now. That uh, what to do to to remedy the situation where you're near your dog and you're trying to readjust, and you just you'll just lose. There's no way around it. Like here, I'm readjusting, then I need to get over to the other side. If this is in fact the, the best way to do it. See if it was on the fast speed, I'd be dead at that point. Totally. On the at the upper at the eighty. It's about level. eighty, man. We can't seem to get past eighty. <laughs> yeah, or make maybe the ramp up needs to be slower until it gets fast. But even then, you're going to hit a point where randomness will kill you. Well, apparently it doesn't because he got four hundred. But yeah. we just need to know. We just how need we to. Do. We just need to like. Dogs are frequently treated badly in southern and eastern Europe. Yeah. Yeah. So like, what? So what was really brutal about it, right? Was she didn't realize that this dog, because of the environment it grew up in, needed like constant, needed to be in the same room, needed to be touching the person. So like, she came home and the dog had like wrecked everything in the it's place. Not her fault if they didn't tell her. Totally. And 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 so then um. She got a call yesterday because we were like working and, and doing some stuff, and and apparently the dog got a bit of glass embedded in his paw oh because he was God. losing, and they were really mad at her. Why is there glass well, cause, around? Because he had like smashed something, oh and like my God. so I was just like, and it's just the neediest dog, and like. And then basically she was so like upset because she felt like she'd hurt this dog, but like obviously she'd let them know that she was because we were both moving. Like she was helping me move, my roommate move, I was helping her move. We were doing IKEA runs. Like it was like the thing is that she should have just said no. She didn't have time. But it was one of those things where I was just thinking like w afterwards we were hanging out and basically what we just came to our conclusion was is like. Yeah, we'll cat sit for anyone. We will not dog sit for dogs anyone. Dogs are a whole different thing. They yeah. are, um, they need a, a pack and a pack leader. And, they do. And if you leave them alone, they go insane. Yeah, and because, I think. Because they get super, super upset and lonely. Yeah, I think dogs are so social, you know? Yeah, and, extremely um, social animals. Okay, here's death. Oh, that was oh. close. But yeah, I think I'm definitely a cat person in that regard. I just I'm too I just like independence a bit too much. Death? Nope. Death is coming. 
Oh, it's not. I gotta go. <sighs> 90, though. Fuck yeah. Uh, one more. Yeah, dude. I'm pretty good with 90. J90, please. 400 deserves a patch. 400 deserves a... Dude, I don't man. know what it deserves. 400 something deserves big. like a... Yeah, like something. <laughs> something seriously good. Yeah. Your name on a billboard or something. 400 is crazy. Is it... Does it peak out at what... At the level I was at? Because I could see... If it doesn't get any faster, then uh, you could do it. Yeah, he says my schnauzer, Willow, is very calm. Then again, she's eight years old. I think a lot of that had to well, do with yeah. the environment that dog came from. That's just a tough, sad thing. And it's so sad because obviously she wants to, like, save and look after this dog. But in the end, now, she's, now the dog's ruining her life. Like, it's like, oh, what a situation, you know? Oh, yeah. Granted, you know, there's some... I've dealt with some feral cats, too, and they're not... Go well, they're, they're not, like, you know, But they don't saints. wreck the house. They no. just kind of don't interact with you yeah you can't you go to they touch them and they like hiss at you and you're like okay well we'll feed well, you we and just won't touch you i guess we're problem solved, i guess right? we're roommates i don't know <laughs> angry roommates that hate each other i feel like a dog is like having a relationship and a cat's oh, like yeah. having a roommate you know yeah it really In general it just sort of how it feels to some degree but then there's this there's the range like some cats oh, yeah. are are like atari is so nice and affectionate and pixel is more like a classic cat to me like, yeah very classic cat but he does get affectionate streaks in him. Totally. Like he'll be like, oh yeah, today I'm just going to be all about you. It's like, sup? Yeah, he says that a matter of good education, especially when they're young. That makes sense. I think it's yeah. a lot of how that works, you know. And also some people just have a way with different animals, you know. Some people have a way with cats, some people have a way with dogs. I don't, yeah, do you think we're... <laughs> I'm peaked at Let 90. me try one more. Yeah, you, you go for Let it. Let me try one more and we'll see. But I think, yeah, I'm thinking that that might be our, uh, our glass ceiling I'd like to now. see uh, what other people get I've, as yeah, scores. Yeah, definitely to see if other people have, have the issue we're having. Because um, it feels like... Um, like Vol, 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 Volta. Volta? Volta I'm, obviously knows something that we don't, like about his game, <laughs> the, of, of a technique to get 400. Because I'm not going to lie, I feel like that 90 was like part luck too. You know what I mean? Is, like that's at that point it is, because you don't know where they're going to appear in relation to your dog. And you simply cannot move your dog fast enough out of the way. Yeah, like that like one. Like it I doesn't got... walk fast enough. No. If that appears right above your dog, your dog's done. Totally. No matter if you press the button and right away. And then if you like it move appears. it, and it, but it moves into like something, well then you rip too, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that yeah. I mean, that's your fault if it moves into something. But, well, no, but I mean, if it needs to dodge something, and the only direction uh, to dodge is also something, yeah. it's like, there's no choice. It's done. It's, yeah. it's, it's a done dog. I think we should run off the screen, friends, definitely. Oh, uh, yes. We don't yeah. want to, you know, simulate Romanian uh, mm -mm. Uh, dumpsters. It, sh it should... <laughs> we can. No. Yeah, Less Romanian dumpsters. Quickly run off the screen like it's scared. Totally. Yeah, that would be a much better that solution. Be much nicer. <laughs> Because then you can free up some space from the, the graphics that you need to store from the dog and dedicate it to the dog running sequence. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you get like a grace period around 50, it feels like. <laughs> and then it ramps up. Yeah, so now it's like effed. <laughs> Uh-oh. And it is quite a speed increase, so I think yes. that could be lower. Definitely. So yeah, so here we go. Like mid -50. See, now it's getting to be like... See... <laughs> Yeah. That was like, but the thing that's weird about that is it also arced towards the dog, even though it was blue. It was towards you because you were on the right hand uh, side. But but it hooked too. It kind of hooked down. Did it? I don't think it did. One more. <laughs> it is definitely one of those games where it's one more what, try. What was one the more one, more one that was like that on try. last one? Oh, what was it called? I've yeah, played Wednesday. so many recently that are like that. Uh, one more try. That's a cool dude. Try. This is a cool game. It's a good the game. The concept simple. Even but even I, I've even. never I've never well. There's one game. I said I said before. There's I've never seen a game with this kind of uh, type of gameplay. But that's that's not true. There is one that's similar-ish, and we'll play the video after of of what I was uh, the one I was thinking. I feel like I got like a handle on like the mechanics sort of now. Yeah, I but, have like, no problem with the mechanics, like moving them and stopping them and positioning. 
crazy. Um, what are some ones that we played that one more try was? Daredevil? That's definitely one yeah. that we were playing. Corner. Uh, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it was a curved one, you would be. Yeah. So it's so it'll, interesting, it's, right? You just be. end up in positions like this where like... Oh, move him, move him. Oh, yeah. I'm no, you draw, drew him towards but, your dog. But I had to... But the problem was was that I had to... to the left. But, but then I would have ran into it. And then the one on the That's right true. was aiming towards my dog, so I didn't... Yeah. That's true. It's you just you get you just end up in positions that you can't. Endless snow. Endless okay, that's, snow. That's yeah. I gotta I gotta I gotta call it. I wanna play another one. But... <laughs> yeah, we gotta call it on that. Um, so I'll sh I'll play the. We the... should have stayed. You saved oh, the dog, could've... man. Yeah, you're right. You just have to make choices very fast. Yeah, there are choices to be made in this game. So I'm gonna play the game that is similar. -ish. Oh, sick to the ta to the um the feel of this one and it is called a boy and his blob mm. you don't know it but i'm sure a lot of people in the chat will know it and it was made by david crane the guy who made pitfall wow um where's my link oh my god oh i just kept it up that's good, good. <laughs> okay so let's take a look do, 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 do. And you'll see pretty quickly why you. I said that this was is it NES similar. Game? Yeah, it's an NES game. It was on a bunch of other platforms, too. So you're the, the boy. and But you also have... See, he just whistled. And then he has a, a companion. This is like a s s blob? He's a blob. Looks like a snowman. Now it became kind of. like a... You can change him into things. I'll but use this to defend against. Let's find a part where he's actually uh, following him. See, so you can get your blood. He blo he follows you around. That's cool. Kind of like the dog, but you feed him jelly beans, and he turns into different things. Different things depends on the jelly. But see, licorice jelly bean equals ladder. This L looks like L. a great game. What's and you called? use those. Boy and his blob. Boy and his blob, and you use those different things to um, get out of. Jams like oh okay need another ladder go up I'd be with, seen but you only have certain number of jelly beans of that I'd be seeing next kind. gen um, oh this is NES yeah. yeah the NES era of stuff so that is uh, that's a really cool game uh, it's just because uh, I said oh I don't I've never heard of uh, a game like that and somebody said oh yeah boy in his blob and I'm like <laughs> oh yeah that's right uh. Wotas. Endless snow? What's that? Let's oh, find let's out. Esther is just letting us know. We should check it out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, is this the the? Oh. Let me put that on the screen. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. I've heard of this. I don't know how this is similar. <laughs> I guess he's just talking about things that are snowing. Oh, well, you're dodging things that are, like, landing on you? Yeah. But you don't have to dodge two things. Yeah, you don't have to have two guys that Dude, if it was just me, we could get up to, like, 2,000. <laughs> on this one? one? No, on the last one, if it was, if you had no oh, dog. Oh, it was just a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. be like... So you have to warm up, and you get cool. We haven't played this on the show, actually. Cool. I'll have to, I'll have to put that down. Dude. You know what I'm really blown away by is, you know, how much cleaner and nicer your um, stuff looks uh, because of I, all the all the work you've done. Because you look at the colors and stuff oh, of, yeah. of that, like the recording, like... It's just fuzzy and, just looks, and blurry and the colors are a bit washed out. I take very big pride in how much tweaking I've done to this whole setup and, and the quality that I've it's a big invested deal, in. Yeah. Like, I look back at, like, the last stream I was doing, and I was like, oh, my God, this is so crisp and clear. I mean, YouTube mangles it a bit. Of course. And it's also, YouTube. it's a three-hour upload, so, like, well, there's a fair... There's bit a, rates, bit rate, but... But, yeah, yeah, no, but there's a fair amount of compression they do on longer videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so hold down. Because... Button, we'll move on to the next. Because it's a, a free server. It is.
That's why I use Vimeo well, for all of my knowledge. stuff because it, well, it, yeah. it's just, you but know that it's going to be straight, but that's not the Vimeo point. Vimeo doesn't have the, um, you know, it's the, not a social um, network. No, not so, really. So it's not there's you know the, the there's not much point in using it. Oh my god, do I? Oh yeah. Um. So he said, "Thanks a lot uh, for seeing you guys play my game. I know exactly how to tweak my game. Cheers!" Thank you for making it, man. Thank that was a very so fun game. I'd love to see like new variations of it. Or, oh yeah, we'll definitely um, play play it as it uh, progresses. Yeah, sure. and 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 I would love to see some you know some big changes to it. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but no, the be, basics are great. But it'd be cool to see some really some new mechanics because I think right now it feels um, uh, frustratingly addictive, <laughs> yeah. and it would be nice to be more addictive. You know, like because. I also think too that in all honesty, like the scaling could be a bit better because it jumps up quick. Like yeah, between, the fifty mark or whatever, fifty, 50 or seventy, it much. just it goes from falling things to like slam, slam, well, slam. And it's especially hard for like the for new time people because if it's that hard and you're still figuring out how it works, it doesn't give you time to really kind of muck about. It, it, it yeah, it, it sort of just throws you into the deep end very fast. Yeah. Um. So this one is called uh, The Wicked Father. <laughs> this is Jesus. Okay. <laughs> uh, by Jamie Hampshire. Oh, yeah, you said this is a messed up uh, concept. I'm yeah. excited. A.K.A. Juno 6. First posted uh, December 24th, 2010. So a little bit older of a game. This build is from March 11th, 2011. It's actually a little bit later than that. This one's from 2012. I didn't update my notes. Um, the size of this is a 4K game as well. Yeah. Um, other games he's made? Just this one. Just like the last guy. Um, for 2600 And um, This is not available in the Atari Age forums, but you can find it in some homebrew binary packs if you download some of those big, chunky ones. Um, so he, it says, here's a game I just finished making for the Atari 2600. You can start it going. I'll explain cool. how to play it. So we Remix. can do it at the same time. Whoa. The so other end. Another of, short loop. The other end of music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got a little view meter of sorts. Oh, it's got a little bit longer of a song. Gotta be careful, high frequency stuff. Yeah, they get pretty harsh. Yeah. Psychoacoustics is a real thing. Yeah, especially That's on the 2600. Fun. Those high ones are very. Yeah. Very grating. Because our ears hear certain frequencies differently it's like oh, they do it's not a straight no straight line and that's why there's audio engineers <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not right. just computers mixing things okay so uh press a button i'll explain how to play it um you try and get the dot and you can jump and holding the button jumps higher and that's all there is to it and there's water and you have a um amount of time that you can breathe oh so Here's a game I just finished making for the uh, Atari 2600. It started... Let me turn off the jump a bit. Oh, God. It started after I got a bit inspired last year when my girlfriend brought, uh, bought Racing the Beam for my 30th birthday. Very good book. I own that, too. What's that? It's a book about uh -oh, um, the uh -oh. Atari 2600 and how it works. It's not really a programming book, but it does talk a lot about... The hardware and how things work in the 2600. Oh, that's it's very, cool. very interesting. I think a lot of history in it, too. Oh, God. There you go. Um, it's fantastic and accessibly geeky read. I, uh. Oh, God. Rip. Came through? What do I do? That sucks. <laughs> that's annoying. You wait to float. But then it's rip, basically. Nope. Yeah, you can I'd... swim up and get air. But you do have to go all the way around and you'll probably die because it's too long. Yes. That's that's too bad. I wish there was a death button because it's like I made one mistake. You only get one life. And now I'm done. You have to go right back to the beginning. Really? Yeah. Rip, hey? It's done. Um, I can't Only swim. because you can't swim around fast enough. Well, no, I can't. I can't. You can swim. Actually, you could swim and get up there. Yeah. So well, I can't get... really like... What do I do? Just jam it? Like I don't know the how to. Swimming's challenging in this. I don't game. understand how to swim. Oh, you died, and now you're floating. <laughs> and now it's like, uh, I just gotta wait for the screen to finish. No, no, we can reset. Oh God. 
My, uh... Doo -doo -doo, I, I went through this in a couple days and was itching to have a go at Assembler, which is something I hadn't touched in, since I prodded around at college about 15 years ago. My goal is to fit the game into 4K, which is the natural limit of a 2600 ROM addressing range. It would have been so easy to have made it larger using a technique called bank switching, but I love the fact that the enforced parsimony, parsimony meant that I had to use good discipline to pauperize the small space. I don't know if these are words he meant to use, because I don't know what pauperize means. Pauperize means to, res I don't to know restrict, it... to be poor, like a pauper is a poor person. That must be, yeah, to Pauperize, learn. Pauperize, to, to restrict So... Them. You have to jump over to the right. There you go. It's just quickly go underwater. That's only so much you can do. There you go. Yay. Okay. Um, oh, God. Dude, this is like a race against time. I'm fucked. I'm fucked, James. I'm <laughs> fucked. I'm fucked. <laughs> no, you're not. There oh, you go. I can't seem to get it. Oh, God. And it's like, I don't have enough time. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not very good at platformers. Also, it's not the easiest jump to make. It's a very hard jump. Oh. Why are you, you seem to be stopping pressing left. There you go. Oh, and then rip. Oh, no. You can do it. I uh, believe in you. I don't believe. Go! I can't. Go. I can't. What's happening? Oh, see, I was just like... Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm not very good at platformers. <laughs> I'm not very good at platformers. Astro Ramirez says, lol. I love watching you guys play oh. games. Uh, to make a pauper of. To impoverish. So that does make sense. To impoverish. Okay. Astro Ramirez says, not that I would do any better. Is this guy like... Oh, you're, <laughs> you're going down. It's not the easiest controls in the world. There you go. I, no, we, I do agree. I played it briefly. It's not It's not the hardest controls in the world. But no. It's not the easiest. But it's definitely not the easiest. Um, the thing with the 2600 I found is that after you spend some time with it, you start to become hoodwinked into feeling that the machine was put on this earth just to play your game. Everything seems to fit just perfectly. But in wow. reality, you're so confined by its limitations uh. that if you don't stick to them, your game simply won't work. That said, I now realize what an incredibly considerate and resourceful piece of design the 2600 was for its time. Hi folks, here's a one sort of... A demo of a game I've been working on um, on straight assembly language, The Wicked Father. Oh, God. You play the unconscionable character of the title. See, this is rough, dude. We got one go. Yeah, you One do. chance. There you go. Ah, oh, this opportunity came in a <laughs> lifetime. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Oh, swimming. I've never liked swimming. Uh, you play the unconscionable character of the title who's locked his family in the basement. What? And flooded his 15-story, or 20, however room I've left, 4K mansion. Life insurance plus house insurance equals profit. <laughs> Make your it's way... words to live by, I guess. Yeah. Make your way to the top of the house to escape it or you will die... Oh. With, or you will die with them. My family? Oh. Yeah, you die with your family if you don't make it out of the house before it floods. Is this, am I the father? Yes, you're playing the father who, oh. who has already killed his family. Uh, why did I get trapped? <laughs> I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm a failure. There you go. Oh. There you go. Okay. Oh, God. I have to, like, <laughs> land on here. Okay. Yeah, oh. it's one of those games that has... What if I just jump up here? No. Am I allowed to? No, no, no Of course no, not. Of course easy. not. That's too easy. Okay, I gotta, have time. I gotta get up here. Quit oh, your panicking. God, I'm not very good at this game. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Yay. Yes! Okay, what the fuck? Do I just jump down? No, I can't. I bet it's like, I have to make this jump. Aw, oh, rip. <laughs> now you have to float. Oh. Keep, keep, your, keep your breath going. Okay. In this demo, you control the player with the left and right directions on the joystick, pressing fire to jump. Standard Mario type controls. When you want to jump over the wall, you must take a running jump to clear it. And when in water, you need to hammer the fire button to get him to move. Oh, there's nothing <laughs> I can do. Death. Swim, friends. Oh, damn. Why did I lock my family in the basement? <laughs> shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, okay. Uh, to aim of this demo is to make it to the door handle in the top right before you drown. Although I haven't decided to add a check which it detects which 
if you've gone to the door handle or not. Let me know how it drives. Merry Christmas! <sighs> Merry <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> this is your Christmas uh, is... game. Um, the he said, it wouldn't be too difficult to add lives. You always start in the same point on the screen, so it would just be a question of pulling the predetermined re resp P0 delay in the vertical sprite level position back and back again and, and a predetermined water level. Da -da 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 -da. I might do Wicked Father 2 or Super the Wicked Father at some point, but I've got other projects planned. I wish he didn't do because. Or the Wicked Mother. The wicked Mother, yes, there you go. Just genderize this. The key thing is when you're in the water, not to gingerly tap the fire button, to but to hammer the heck out of it instead. Dude, is that what he just said to do? Hammer the heck out of it. Those are words to live by. Oh, like, see, I can't... Oh, God, see? Like, I don't think that's true, Hammer. I think it's a it's a slower press. Like... <laughs> and float. I love the float at the end. Oh, no. And then he just hits his head. My family. <laughs> but it's my... Did, so I locked them in then? Maybe? You did. And then I, like... You're drowning them for life insurance. And wrecking the house to get house insurance too. You get going for the big payday. This is a real anti-hero uh, kind of situation. I don't think he was. This is not the heroic. Hero. You're right. This is just it's a just villainous a, protagonist. A completely villainous guy. And by killing him, you're actually doing a service. <laughs> That's right, man. By drowning this motherfucker, this tyrant. Best thing to do is to avoid them because if they cause you bother. Uh, the water. One other thing is to anticipate where you're going to need to start moving on each successive screen and get ready before the new screen appears. Uh, of course, that means if you you need to die a few times. Admittedly, some of the platforms are a bitch, but is un utterly completable as is. Remember, the water's sometimes your friend. But see, like, I don't know how to adjust, right? Like, I can go straight up, but then... But, like, getting to the next thing is not so easy, right? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's the worst. Okay, James. No, 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 you. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna destroy your controller. Oh, I hope not. It's the only this, one of that I have this left. Father. Oh. <laughs> If I made it any easier, it would turn out to be a very short, boring game. Yeah, you're not I'm really wrong. pleased with the challenge is already there. Keep practicing. There's 19 rooms. Holy fuck. Plus an end screen, and it takes about five minutes from start to end. Once you know it, I'm sure you'll get there. <laughs> I'm sure James will get there. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Some of this gets really hard. Okay. So, like... Yeah, if you guys want a challenge, this game is a huge platformer challenge. I'm, and yeah, and this is not, I'd, I wouldn't say I'm, I, I'd rate myself about a 5 out of 10 in terms of platformer yeah. skill. Yeah. You're getting better. Getting yeah. better. You know what's hilarious? Action RPGs is <laughs> That's my your thing. Forte. Which is sort of silly. Because whose forte is action RPGs? I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. The thing with this game is if you miss a jump... You're in the water, and you have to, like, start You have a completely so different... Far. Like, that jump. If you miss that jump, you're waiting you're for the done. water. And so even this isn't that easy, right? Because I have to, like, try to, like, get up, right? Yeah, before the water takes over, and then... And I Like, I find it really hard, this water business. But now it's, like, <laughs> not too bad. Getting better. But there is, like, a timer. The water is a timer. Because it makes it terrible... If you don't make it to the water in time. So, like, I'm doing okay now, because, like, I got some... Oh, see, but, like... You not... need a breath, at least. There you go. Okay, 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 yes! Okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, God. God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yes, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Failure. Oh no. Five out of ten skills. <laughs> Yay. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Granted. Oh. So what am I doing wrong with that jump? Uh 
Okay. You're not waiting till the last second to jump. There you go. Dude. Because he does have an end. You're right. Don't okay, jump. so I gotta kind of. Is this the way to do it? I don't think you can make this jump, but maybe you can. <gasps> you can. Oh, okay, well then that's easy. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, this is great six. news. I've never seen this level. Ooh, boy. Yeah, this is a one of those up and around by things. Oh, now you got it. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. It's not necessarily the end of the world. Is it? Yeah, it's rip. <laughs> Wait, what practice. if I just... Yeah, you can just do that. Take the easy way out. You don't drown. Sorry, James. I'm sorry about your <laughs> controller. It's okay. Oh, don't drown at this point. All you have to do is get up and over. Oh, no. I can't hit it fast enough, though. I literally can't do it. Oh, okay, no. Okay. okay. Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, I made it fairly far. Yeah, you did pretty That's good. That's decent. See, there's this character design is funny because I, it's two things. The first thing that it is is its profile, and you got his arm. <laughs> I, I like don't to, think so. I like to think of this as a face, a smiling face yeah, that's the, all fucked up. Like it's like, like <laughs> but I think it's the arm because you see what I mean. I think it's like the ear. So it's supposed to be like profile, but it looks like a screwed up like smiley face, which is funny. I, I think I like the smiley face better than a, just an arm. This is like. Uh, this is like the Joker movie. This is what this is. Oh yeah. I'm Which so is. excited for that movie. But I'm more ex I'm not excited for anything other than watching Joaquin Phoenix do his work. Joaquin Phoenix is probably my favorite male actor if there really? is one. Yeah. Wow. I love his movies. And like I think about his stuff. I think about him in like Gladiator. Damn it. I haven't seen Gladiator. He's so good in Gladiator. He's so good in like The Master. He's so good in like Inherent Vice. He's so good in like um I love too his like Letterman thing that he did. Did you ever see that? Oh yeah. yeah. Where he did the terrible documentary with like Casey Affleck, but I like seen the documentary. it's not is very. It bad? Oh, it's really. Where bad. he's rapping. It's right? really bad, but it's so. I just love that he did it. You know what I mean? This water is terrible. Um, me and my friends in college, we were such fans of oh. uh, Joaquin Phoenix that we created a Facebook page for him that yeah. was mistaken as the real one. So we owned the Facebook. Like one of Joaquin Phoenix for years, and we would post stuff all the time as if we were Joaquin Phoenix. Oh my god! And then eventually we got taken down, but it was one of the funniest things of all time because he and it was right around the time that like he was doing that documentary, oh. so we were able to post like crazy things and nobody was able to tell whether it was him or not. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't get a cease and desist or anything, but at one point Facebook was just like it literally the page just disappeared. But oh. it was it was like we had like I think we had like four hundred thousand like people had liked the page yeah because they, they thought it was Joaquin Phoenix that is a lot and I was like I'm so into this so yeah I'm excited for the Joker movie for sure this game's controls is tough are infuriating <laughs> yeah man and it's, it's, he's so right you gotta just jam it like it's I don't know how you do it oh god yeah no! There's no mistakes that can be made. I love that, like in this game, it gives you the illusion that, like, you have a second chance, but you really don't. Like, you know what I mean? Like, look at this. This isn't a second chance. It isn't. Fighting the controls is not a game. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with you, Thrust, for sure. Um, let me think about that. Like, there's one game we played that was, um, we did high scores for, which was, like, the, was it a minor? Yes. That one was, like, for sure you're fighting the controls. It was. Yeah, minor 2049er. But, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing I like about next-gen stuff, though, like, the current gen of games, is that you don't encounter stuff that's, like, you know... Oh, no, it would be like, dead and buried if the controls were terrible yeah, in a new game. Yeah, which is, which is something... 
that's fun, but also tough. I mean, I've said it a million times, but my the most hilarious era for me was those N64 games, where, like, they didn't understand cameras yet. They're still <laughs> figuring out how to do this. And there were so many games. The Castlevania 64 was the best example of, like, I would, like, give someone, like, one of my friends to play the game, and they'd be like, how do you move? And I'd be like, that's the game. You gotta figure it out. <laughs> and I, I, like, I, like, Thrust could appear to my 10-year-old self and be like, Erlen... Fighting the controls is not a game. <laughs> but, but but look, you can just like rotate the camera and then you move and then you rotate the camera and then you move and then you ro It's like, no. Uh, I highly recommend not playing this game. <laughs> you don't like it? No. <laughs> and when you go in water, you feel like giving up. I can see why you're like, no. Yeah, you see what I mean where you're like, in like look. Oh, I'm gonna give it one more go. Dude, who thought that I would be the one that made it the farthest? Jesus. I know. Because you're way better at these things than me. Oh, the Zippy, that was another one that was oh, tough. That Remember was Zippy? So that was hard. rough. The controls are so hard in that one. Yeah, that's one where you had to just, like, master these crazy controls. Also, like, I love that you have no feet. So, like, there's, like, <laughs> just you're just like, along. even the sound and everything. Like, even this shouldn't be hard, but it is. It's hard to just jump through, like, a tiny thing. It is, because you just barely can make it through. How come I can't pass this bloody level? Okay, don't fall off the edge. Yay! Yay! <sighs> now you have to make this jump or you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> You're not gonna be fine. I'm gonna try the the rabbit. mega fire. Okay. See how it turn how, that up to max. Yeah. See how he swims in with mega fire. Yeah. I'm gonna do max and see if that works. Oh, that's the way to do it. That's the way mm, to do it. Maybe. Maybe. Technology is on our side. Hey, oh, yeah. that's how you swim. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's not. It's not. There we go. It kind of. What works? if you slide it to the left and then the right? Whoa! So Mega fire doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't work consistently. No. And that's why it's so hard to swim. There is no way to swim. Uh, oh. 2011 hasn't been updated. Uh, this is 2012, this one. But it said no. 2011 on the screen. Yeah, you didn't update the oh, okay. screen title. That's okay. That was a, like, feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> I think he added was, a reset. That was before reality stars became president. Like, a lot of shit happened since 2012. <laughs> it has. So we'll do one more try on this, but after that, this game is done. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's a good concept. It's, it's frustrating in the ways that it shouldn't be. Yeah. The thrust is immortal words are true. Fighting the controls is not a game. It is not. Like, what are the... I can't think of many instances where that's a thing. You know, that's also where things like one button, like, things are like... There's, that's why we love them, because yeah. it's like, there's no... Yeah. Oh, sick. Okay, you can make it past... Because this is... You haven't made it past this level yet, have you? No. Okay, I good. So. Hooray. This is not on the recommend list. <laughs> uh, probably. This is. Not. I would say this is on like the you know play it once and see if you can do it game. Yeah. But this isn't like you know it's gonna be Christmas and you know we just opened our stockings and be like, hey kids. I got you the Wicked Father for Christmas. Do you want to play the Wicked Father? It's like what's the premise? The father locked his children in the basement and they're drowning to death and it's really hard controls. <laughs> Do you want to play it? Um, the game is the hard controls. I think I think I'm gonna like just eat some candy and maybe like. <laughs> yeah. First date with a girl. This is the game to play. This is the game. To, this is, <laughs> we're gonna do it. So you gotta make this jump or you're done. Yeah, dude. Hooray! I'm sorry, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. You knew the stakes. You didn't need me to say them. That's cruel. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy you made it like far. This one, this level is like do or die. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
<gasps> James! James! Oh, <laughs> the dream is alive. Yeah, man. Okay, that's good. That's so good. That's great news. <gasps> James! Oh, hooray! Now it's like a race against time. Uh, uh -oh. what? Is oh, that what? That's the one you have to make, though. Weird. Come on. Oh. Oh, he drowned. <laughs> we got really far, though, man. That was great news. We got to see a bit farther into yeah. this. And see, the designs are getting more interesting. I actually yeah. prefer this a lot more than the stuff we were playing. Yes, because the, so the, do I. Because the other better. stuff was so mazy that you couldn't... And you had to fit yourself through little holes. Versus this is open, so it's it's a little more like you're making jumps. This feels more like a platformer now than yeah. before. It was more like a weird maze. Like, I don't know. Actually, but, without... If, if you just got rid of the water, this would actually be a better game definitely like maybe with a timer instead of water yeah so you have to get through it although the water is a cool it's i, I actually like if, the water if if you could swim better in it i think the water would be good and be really good and better level design like in well, terms of like levels are, i, I shouldn't say good. design better like ramp up like it feels oh. like it's really hard like if yeah. we had some if it was a bit more I wish he was still actively making this game is it the concept so cool that it it's is. just the controls are frustrating um, also, controls. honestly, if your guy was even like a little bit smaller, like just yeah, even like twenty percent smaller, one line smaller, because then you could fit through things a little bit easier. Because right now it's like you're the same height as a lot of the stuff you're jumping into, yeah. so it's like you're hitting the ceiling. It just yeah. I suppose as I remember when this came out, too bad the control never improved. Yeah, yeah, man. If the sw just the swimming. Just swimming. the swimming improved. I think it would be a very playable. Well, the game. fact that we our mega fire can't even do it. Like <laughs> no, like turned up to maximum the mega fire won't and i just don't want to wreck james's thing either man i don't want to fuck with your no. got it like i don't want to like smash up your control it's not worth uh, it oh, wrecking yeah. your like sega genesis okay so we have played this game before robo mechanic oh, so i, I don't, don't believe to... i have no we played it like in like this third episode of the show <laughs> way back oh damn it This is a masterpiece, this game. Really? Like, this... This has got some short circuit vibes. Like, check out the music, the graphics. Also the neon flashing, the Atari age published. This guy comes from the demo scene. Oh. As you can tell by yeah. the movement, of, like Look at the that. bouncing intro screen. This game is unbelievable. Um, so this comes from a... Uh, this is like a port, an unofficial port, of a game called Robo, I believe. Let me see. Dude, I up. love this. Look at this, man. They got a thing. They're telling you all the stuff. I'm, I was saying this the other day about, um, uh, like, I love in Pac-Man. It shows you How to the play. thing, right? That's right. You were saying that. I love this. It's like... Key, door, turret, bad enemy, teleport. And I have a much faster computer now. Like, before when we were playing this, it was all janky and... Flickery and it looks like solid. Oh. Oh yeah, this was before the uh, 42 items. Jesus. Yeah, Christ. look at it. Yeah, I can't remember. Like, I don't even. I haven't even seen most of these. Actually. I want that nuke. That's <laughs> insane. Oh my god. Jared Gray West is here. Welcome. Hey, Splendid Jared. Knot is here. Oh my god. Look at all the items. Oh Cobble, God. claw. Okay, Seen now it's sort claw. of repeating. Oh, it is repeating. Weak wall, core. Uh, no, it's not necessarily. Boss eye, that's new. So this is based on a Polish eight, Atari 8-bit game called Robo. You must collect the bolts to repair your spaceship. You find other items to help you on your way in later levels. It's legit, man. If we're going to space, we're going to space with robots. Yep. So the music does repeat. It's cool music, though. Gonna turn it down. Good idea. Um, so last time we played, we made it through uh, worlds, worlds A through C. So we're gonna continue on with D now.
And I think the developer is Polish too. Hey, yes. So I love it. Do you want me to read some stuff? Actually, you can play. Okay, cool. And I'll read some Shouldn't stuff. Should I play one? That's oh, okay. Yeah, you have to play one. What says I'm gonna do stage D? D one. Yeah, yeah. We'll start from here. Doesn't okay. Matter. Doesn't matter. Whoa, whoa. And you died immediately. <laughs> you walked right into the. Bowl. Where am I? Oh, so what do I do? Um. I've got no that idea. That is the question. It's different every level. It's a puzzle. Whoa. Um, is there a time limit? I'll give you a, a couple hints. You can push around all the things. I gotta get these screws? Is that... um, yeah, your goal is to get all the screws. And then get uh -oh. to your spaceship. Uh-oh. And just like some other games. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do any of this. <laughs> no, you didn't. But you can kill yourself. So you got one of them. I got a screw. And then what do I do? Like, how do I... Do I, do I this game is made by Christoph Klukzeg, a.k.a. KK slash a tall Altair. First posted on December 9th, 2017 at Silly Venture 2017, and this build is from March 24th, 2018. 32K game, as you can see. It's massive. And beautiful, gorgeous games. Uh, you can shoot? No, I don't think you can shoot. Press okay, No, you can't shoot. Okay. So I'm going to show you a little bit on how to play I just this don't game. Understand, like, yeah, what's you've going corrected on. a bit. Okay. So, what that thing is, it's shooting, and it'll hit those bombs, and a bomb beside a bomb will blow up the next bomb. Okay. So, in this level. Do you stack, you position them into like spaces. Exactly. So, you want to do this, and you want to get them all ready. Oh, so that it'll blow To be exploded. Oh. Oh, so it's like... Damn it! It's okay. It's not as unforgiving as Sokoban. Thank God. <laughs> Which is very unforgiving. Sokoban untrained. was a hard motherfucker, man. That oh, was... yeah. No. Oh, I get... I see what's going on. I, I see. Did I mess it up? No, you're good. I am messing it up, Now though. you almost messed it up. Yeah, there you go. Now you can... Yeah, totally. yeah there we go. So now that I've got it all uh -oh, in a row... Don't, doesn't it need to be, like, beside it? No. It will do a, a no. nine grid It'll around it. It'll do adjacent? It. Oh, awesome. So each one will blow up the next one, blow up the next one, which will open up... That thing. Also, oh, so what I do is I spaceship. push that little, like, that little yeah. thing aside and wait till it goes. And not and only then... is this game amazing, everything is timed up to the music. The shots. Oh, yeah, and... Then... Music changes. Wow, that's cool. Boom. Yo. Now I can get to my Yo. spaceship. Give me that spaceship. Oh, that's cool. Fuck yeah. And now I have no idea how to do the next one. Um, you can shoot. You do get bullets. So you get the screws. You get the bullets. Go get those bullets. Where are the top bullets? On the right, left hand side. There you okay. go. So you can shoot the bombs, but be careful. You have to place them strategically so you can get that key to open the door to get to your spaceship. So you have to place the bombs, then shoot the bombs. Weird. Where are you going to place the bomb? This is a, so that you can make good, it to the these key. Are, these are good questions. Remember, you can move those things, too. So you may want to move a bunch first and then place the bomb. I made mistakes already. Oh, Wait. yes. Thrust. Make sure everybody is watching at 1080p. 1080p so 60, just... because if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, you are, it's I, gonna look I... garbled. Whoa. Okay. And make sure you're not right beside the bomb when you shoot it. Shit, I, <laughs> I tried to do it, but it didn't do anything. Okay, let me read about this game a little bit. Um, so, I hadn't played this game in a long time. Since March, uh, we last played it March 24, 2018. So how do I do it? Do I, I kind shoot of... from... Yeah. You have to shoot towards it. Oh, there we go. You got really close though, so that's good. Uh, push that one up, and we'll push that one up. The other one up, and then push that one over, and you're you're good. Over, over one more. There you go. Now you place that bomb in there. You can get the key. Fuck yes. Um, so I was kind of alerted to this game again. Oh, you know, be careful how you get it there. Oh, oh no! Oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I needed to like. I needed Damn it to do it beforehand. Yeah, I didn't think. Yeah, you have to kill you. 
yourself. Stand beside the bomb and shoot it. Can you do anything? I'm gonna have to reset for Death. a Yeah, you're right, I should. Oh! Okay. Oh, it continues on with the same That's, oh, that's awesome! Good. I'm that's a big good. fan of that. Yeah. You can always sit back from the screen more. What? 72060 doesn't work. 72060 is not too flickery as 6502. Yeah, this is a very, very sensitive game for flicker. On the R screen that we're watching, it's fine. Um, on video capture, it looks fine. Um, obviously, on people's screens, you have to make sure you have a, a very good you know, connection for this type of flicker, because it is doing 60 frames a second constantly back and forth to be able to draw this intricate of a screen. It's going to be the same for penult as well. Um, or shrink the window. Yeah, if you've got a slower computer, that's also going to be an issue. Oh, no, you're screwed. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Um, but maybe you can get it to a point where you can push it out of the way after you explode yeah, it. Yeah, I got a leg. Maybe it's game select. No. Okay, there you go. Yeah, just to blow, it just blows you up. Anyway, Thomas Yentz posted in the thread, um, in the Atari Age forums, so what happened to this gem? I hope it's still in act still active in development. And then I posted, it doesn't look too good based on his last post, which was in November 2018, and his last login was February 2019. But I added, added him, which sometimes alerts people. I hopefully KK Altair returns to finish this masterpiece of a game. I definitely want a boxed version of this. Um, and then he appeared. You called his Dude. name and he appeared. He said, hi guys, thank you for your support and patience. This was on Sunday. I definitely didn't drop this project, just got a bit burned with my extreme perfectionism. Right now I'm able to fit about 97 maps in the 32K binary, but I would love to break the magic number of 100. I think I got a technique. No. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I think you do. Oh yeah. You got it. Took me a second. Yay, I'm in my plane! Okay, good. Um, I see a clear way of breaking that number, but it would require a bit of a rewrite, cleaning up the tile data in all the existing levels, which is not something I'm looking forward to. <clears throat> uh, so given my very limited free time, I focus on other things, waiting for my energy and focus to build up again for this task, or to go forward to release the thing as is. And going 64k is just a waste of 31.9k. <laughs> Is again something my perfectionism can't accept. In any case, this project is not abandoned, and if you'd like to reach me uh, to help with testing, find me on Facebook and just PM me. As you have noticed, I am not an active user of this forum. Take care, KKL Tear. Um, I private messaged him, of course, uh -oh. so we can play the newest uh, versions. You screw up. You got bombs. I'm just. I need to use the bombs on the keys. No. Oh, you can. And I just. You have to get all the screws. Ah. Uh -oh. Oh, you can just blow up all the keys. That's not, it's too, not too hard. hard. Yeah. That it? That yeah, that's it. You just need to blow up that one, and you got all the screws. I Did don't. you kill? All I killed two of the screws. That's the issue. <laughs> oh, that's... I didn't realize what the goal was, and now I think I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> you okay. killed two of the screws. Yeah, that's a problem. Another. One. So... Oh, so you have to use the bombs to kill the right keys to not blow up the screw. So obviously, don't put a bomb beside that middle one. Bottom. Oh, you don't I'm, even need to. I'm allowed one screw, it appears. One key. One key. Oh, okay. Well, that was the right one to get. So, like, that definitely was the right one. So, you blow up that key on the left there, and yeah. you can get those two screws, Let's... and then just one more key, and you're done. I need some bullets. Easy. Uh, I like the movement a lot. What's to add? It looks finished. Thrust has more levels and leveling order for better ramp up. Yeah. Um. I'm off. Whoa. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> so there's two doors, two keys. You have to get all those four screws. Do I have to guess screws. which one it is? Well, you definitely have to get one key. You can only have one key at a time, so you have to make it past this. Good job. 
<laughs> right into the bullet. Well, like, I was trying to do it right before. Yeah, it is hard. Because it's only like... Do, 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 do. So it's an action puzzle game. A lot of puzzles, but... Oh, they're changing. Oh, they have different speeds of shots. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So it's good to wait till they're all lined up like that. Where they're kind of at a uh, an angle. Oh! <laughs> I was just trying to, like, I was imagining, like, the end moment. No, oh, you can just press a button. Okay, good. I love how it... I love how it remembers. And you don't have to, like, go through all the levels again. It's just like... But if you reset the game, you can only start at D1. This is like an intense game of Frogger. <laughs> Very intense Frogger game. Uh, and he did post a map. The shooting pattern is upset by the walls on the right. Oh! So it, uh, it gets the bullet back as soon as it hits the wall on the right. So that's what's changing the pattern. That is super smart. No! Oh, you almost did it. So once in a while they gave perfectly in sequence. That was a good time to go. Yeah. And the scope of this game is so big. He's planning for a hundred levels. A hundred puzzle levels. And they're all this innovative. They're all really, really smartly uh, made. Nice! Oh. <laughs> so stressful. <laughs> Okay. Um, and before you start this, one second. Um, there is, he did post a map. It is inaccurate right now, but it was a map of all of the levels that he had completed as of February 2018. It's just interesting to look at. Dude, I love how Splendid Nut gave me like a huge tip. At the end, he's like, dot, dot, dot. That's cool. Is in like, oh, obviously everyone knows this. That's cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is funny. I don't okay. start it yet. Okay. Whoa! Okay, they can't see what I'm seeing. No, they will. But just you wait, man. They it's will. gonna change your life. <laughs> For the better. Also, 720 is a totally fine thing to stream at. Oh, yeah, yeah. HD. Um, like, I'd say 480 is like, eh. Is that good? It's not awesome. awesome. Okay, so That's... this is the map system, or the map that he had um, in February of 2000, actually it was a long time ago, February 2018 did I say? Yeah, February 2018. So he has actually hmm. arranged uh, a lot of these since then, because we're on World D, and you can see D4 you just completed. Um, oh, I see, yeah. Uh, D3 is the same. Yeah, D2 is the same. Oh, D1's the same. Okay, so this this is He's right so far. fairly accurate. I guess it's just when you get to like the later ones, he hasn't finished all He's of them rearranged. yet. rearranged, yeah. So he's planning up to 100. So what do we have here? We have 8 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8 times 13 is 8, 3, 24. So just almost, yeah. just over 100. 104. So it needs to change the graphic, is that? Um, so he's he just. Oh, needs... do you have walk the dog going up there? Oh, on that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. It's only because I have screen capture. Thanks go. for letting us know, though, dude. Yeah, it's not too relevant because we haven't been using this screen. Um, but yeah, there's a full map of all the all the um, different levels. It's pretty amazing. And that's on his. Um, is this a port or is this original? What it's a port it? of a game. So I'm not sure if he's keeping all the original levels. Designing his own. Or designing Should some of his own. Should I try D5 now? Oh yeah, we're, we're going. Going till we can't go no more. Until we run out of time. But we're still good. Another one of these, eh? Oh, you know what you have to do with this one? Look what is on your left. You've got some things there that you can use to block some shots. 
happens if I push it in front. Well, you want to make sure you have a, um, there you go. With, with it, but, you have to make sure you don't block you, yourself, from getting the things you need. But I don't think that's too hard. Yeah, this one's very easy. It gets really annoying sounding. I like oh, it. Oh, no. You can block all but one of them, which be fine. Oh, I wanted to do the I wanted to do the other one. The last? Yeah, because it's gonna be Oh. That would be a lot easier to eh. dodge. They fire pretty slow. They fire pretty slow. So yeah, this one's pretty easy actually. Place three and then you just dodge the last one. Lots of time. Lots of time. Yay! Yeah, I would say that was an easier one. Definitely. So that can be placed well, But that's earlier. the thing is, it's like, what what makes that one good is that there's like a strategy, you know? And it's like, you don't, because the last one is like just a running one, you wouldn't necessarily assume that it would be that that would they, there's a puzzle way to do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's actually smart because of the way that it's like back it's true. up. It's like, and there are definite. Is this gonna? I'm gonna die. Yeah. I was just curious if it, it follows the walls. Oh, it yeah. actually doesn't follow the walls. Because it's like because see it didn't it didn't, it didn't in... see it doesn't go because it's blocked. Oh. I was just curious. Yeah. If it was watch safe. where it can go. So you can go in the pot top right. I don't that. know about that. So let's not go let's in there. find out. Let's find out. See, it killed me. Yeah. Oh. Is it following the left? No, it's not following. Whoa. This cat. Hey, Tari, come here. Oh. But it's not getting you in the spot that you're there. Oh, well, maybe you just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, oh. Keep running. Just keep swimming. Oh, 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 oh. oh I just, it was just some, <laughs> my, my maneuvering wasn't as good. Fail again, I'm taking over. <laughs> oh, fail is such a harsh word. <laughs> that was oh. easy once you figure out. We well, just gotta keep moving. To we'll trade off. You just gotta keep going, man. Okay, is this about timing? Uh, yeah, there's nothing to block them with. I would, oh, I would go, God. I would go like with the bullet. Oh yeah, oh, yeah for sure. That's easy. But now... I would go to the middle, maybe. I think the middle is oh, easier. Oh, I see. Because oh, then, like... Because, cause, yeah... And, yeah, and, and then you can go a straight shot down. And you have the same amount and of... And then it's easy to sort of... Because then, then you can follow... The, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And follow that one over. And, and then go, go to the middle. the middle. Yay! Fuck yeah. That's oh no, easy. you can keep going. <laughs> okay, we have got a shooter. We've got some enemies. Hmm. I'm thinking that like got you, I think you, bombs. I think you use the 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 shooter to shoot the bomb. At but the you, right But time. you do it like right when the thing is. So I probably yeah. Hmm. Oh no 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 no. Oh, you you line I'll them up pack them maybe. In. Yeah, because you can shoot, you can have more than one, yeah. Yes, that's what I want to do. So then I put this one where it can actually shoot it. Damn it, that's not what I meant. That's very opposite of what I meant. That's okay. But I know what I want to do, and I think I, I think just you have can... to get the timing right, because yeah. I have to push it I down, would... and da over and down in the time. Or you could I stack have. more than one. Then you have to time it up with the bats too. Yeah, because like you could do three at once oh. instead of instead of two. That might be easier. Uh, yeah, you have it less would bombs, be. but like you, you know, you right now you have three shots of three, so that's, that's true. Pretty good. That's what I want to do. Yeah, you're right. And then I can time it a lot easier. Totally.
to wait till they're there. Oh boy. This one is not that easy. Dude, inventive game. Oh yeah. Incredibly inventive. Unbelievably cool. Can't waste even one bomb. We got, we got one. One down. And to be able to do this game on the 2600 is unbelievable. Like, and I don't believe he used the DPC chip at all. Like, this is plain 2600. Oh, Thrust says he's currently messaging the developer to help him fit more maps in the game. Yeah, this is, oh good, good, good. This is straight 2600. This could have been made back in the day. Damn. Uh, it had it, it does not use the coprocessor at all. It, that is a huge accomplishment with what's going on, the detail and the animation. Yay! One more. Oh, you yeah. got tons of bombs. Well, you only got one more go at it, I think. Because uh, you need Yeah, three. I do only have one more go, so they kind of give you an extra one to for, troll no, for you. nothing to troll. And it's like, oh, why do I need that? The illusion. You... Luckily, they go on a pattern with that shooter. Yeah. Pure Atari 2600. You're right. Dude. It is. It's pure. Pure. Okay, Yee. ready? Yeah. There you go. Let's, Your turn. Let's find out. Oh, new stuff. Those unbreakable walls or breakable walls? What are those things on the right? We're gonna find out. In this but there's some screws there. Those appear to be easy to get. What, what but are I bet these you're gonna things? die. No. Let's get the screws first. Hmm. What do you think those are? Think you maybe have to get them. Oh. Okay. You can push them. Yeah. You have to push them all the way around. I bet. Oh boy. Did you screw them? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't know that I could push them, so I was like, I. let's just try to figure out the... Rune keys for the door. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> How do you do it? How do you get one going up? Rip. <laughs> there, you can push that one all the way to the left. Let's just see how it works. Might as well find out. I'm sure they just open it. There we go. Okay, so you're dead now. Or are you? Yeah, you pushed one into a corner and the rest are no good. <laughs> yeah, not at all. They're all <laughs> fucked. First. Pure will be 4K, no bank switching. Well, if you want to be like the first iteration of games, yes. Because they... Oh! How would you do that? Push the second one down? And then the... Well, as soon as they're down, you're fucked. Oh, that is true. Yeah, so you can't push any down. So you have to push one... You can't push any left or right, so one of them has to go up. So push that one up, the second one. And then this one. Yeah. There yeah, that go. feels like... It feels right. It feels like the only option. Yeah, once you're past that, it's like... I'm not going to say it's easy, but... <laughs> but at least you have kind a... of is, okay. Now... Oh boy. Is that right? Or are we screwed again? Yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> we're fucked. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, you can push the top one over to the right, but then it gets stuck, and you can get the third one in. Cause yeah, but that's not gonna. Cause it, I can do this now, but oh, like, and then but, you've but got this, but, but, three out of four, but, but you can't get that last one. Done. Yeah. Okay. So we have to really. This is like some Sokuba. It, this is Sokuban for sure. Okay. 
So you can't push that last one up because it's stuck forever. You can push it down. I don't think so though. Yes. Because, because once you it's... have a pattern away. Oh, you can't push it up again. Exactly. You can't push any of them down. <laughs> no. They all have to go up. I don't know. Except for that fourth one cannot go up. That's right. can get the fourth one. That might you be. You can get it. the second I one. I just have to make sure I don't fuck it up you on this side. You got it. I think so. I think so too. Ugh. I'm gonna do the ones that I know how to do. This one. Just have to be careful not to fuck myself because <laughs> it's so easy to do that in games like this, right? Yeah. Press one wrong direction. It's all over. Yeah. Is, easy, is it even possible to do a 1K2600 game? It's possible to do a 128-byte Atari game, which many people have done, and fit it into RAM. Is it and like, you can remove the cartridge, and it just plays itself. How is it, though, as a game? Is it good? It's think? very sparse. <laughs> I can't imagine it's like... We did a whole episode on 128K oh, games. Oh, that's cool, man. And they fit only into memory. Um, there was a shooter, there was Pong, some of them got really creative. Oh, oh. Yeah, there was a whole raft of them, and uh, did Thomas Jens do a bunch of them? I believe he did. Next challenge, 64 bites. Uh, hmm. Finish him. Oh, Good luck God. On that. Oh, what are these? So these are all, like, unknowns. So there's two doors. Oh, I don't know what they are until it, it shoots them, maybe? Oh, God. Uh-oh. So... No, not necessarily. So I can move that one back out of the way. Oh, that's what it is. You have to get it to shoot it. Figure out what it is. To figure out what it is. It's a bomb now, and now I should have moved that out of the way. So oh. I have to find the two keys. Only one way to do it. <gasps> oh no, and you have Rip. to get it immediately. Yeah, done. Oh boy, so you have to position yourself to move it out of the way right away. Uh oh. See how you're fucked. And also keep them so you can. Interesting. I mean, yeah. I am fucked because I've, yeah, yeah. I've killed one of the. Slipped on the tarts. Can you reset for me? Not that this is an action game, so. I'm just... reset button. Yep. Okay, are they all the same spot? I bet they are. He wouldn't have room to do um, randoms, randomization. Do we need to keep those bombs? I mean, I don't know. Probably I don't not. know what their use is, but I mean, it's not a terrible thing to have a bomb kicking around. Yeah, it's not. It's a good idea to keep them. Why not? If you can, obviously, you need every I'm super screw. Super into these mechanics, man. Uh, they're cool. unbelievable. They're so smart. I'll move that down. There's lots of room once I get all the screws to move things around, so it's not too imperative. I probably don't need those. Why would no. I need to block things? I think I'm just going to move those like completely out of the way. Yeah. Or at least a little bit out of the way. One key. I, literally, I just need the screws and the keys. And the keys. And so, like, and the bombs this is, is just where like, eventually you probably be able to memorize like what's what. Yeah. Some people um, posted in the forums that they're like, I'm not going to play this game until it's finished. Because literally you are memorizing all the levels. Right? I, I understand that impulse for sure. Yeah. Um, it's a great fucking good game. Oh! Oh! Just keep going, keep going. You really? Might, it might be rip, but... What if you bomb it? Oh! 
Maybe. Yeah, let's try that. I bet she can do it. So I didn't need it, but I'm gonna push it out of the way though. <laughs> so I don't accidentally do anything to it. So at least you have a chance if... Um... I like that the bombs are basically like... The equivalent of, uh, of a second chance. I was like, why are, they, what are these bombs uses? <laughs> yeah. It's actually very useful. Very useful. Bombs. It's methodical stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many things that interact with other things. And there's it's like so, so many items. It's so cool. I like her little character design too. Oh yeah. This is where you have to be very careful, because if you push those down, you're fucked. Yep. So I still need a screw, and I still need... Those are going to be the last... Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. Unless I'm missing something, like you have to blow up those... Like... We'll find out. Okay. And then I need a screw. That's it. Also, the idea is it's like the screws are to repair your ship. Yeah, they repair your spaceship. I mean, I didn't read the instructions today, but um, we get the idea. Dude. When it gets released, I'll read the instructions. It's hard to talk about this game when it's complete with no flaws. Hard to talk about with no flaws. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, I think we'll uh, make it through E today. Okay, cool. And mm. stop there and then leave F and X for another another day. So that we have another string at least to do. Oh, it's just a uh, Sokoban. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh I was just gonna no. double hit it. Fuck! You can still do it, I think. I don't think so. Yep. 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 I think go it's rip. up one, left. Then maybe you can push that, but it might. Uh, I think it's fucked. I, and it was it was just because of the controls. I didn't mean to do yeah, it. Yeah, you did a double tap. <laughs> yeah. A lot of this is like you have no choice. You have to do. You have only one path. Right. And now you can only do that. You can only do that. You can only do that. Well, actually, there's a bit of a cho bit of choice here. Do I do this? Hmm. Push that right out of the way. Hmm. Maybe I maybe I actually didn't Did fuck something. it up. Yeah. Cause like. Yeah. I don't think you can do it. Oh no. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you do have to keep. I think that's the only way. Yeah, be careful here. Well, you can still keep pushing that up and out of the way, though. Which I would... Yeah. You have to bring a block along with you <laughs> as you go. I'm trying to think about this one. Before. This one is, is bar more sparse. I think this one's fine. I think what if I just do yeah. that? Yeah. See? Now you're fine. Okay. Now, careful with this one. Oh, no. That's easy. Easy! Yeah! Yay! Okay. Gauntlet could be made from repurposing this engine. Uh... E Gauntlet, the characters move smoothly, though. It's not a tile-based game. So, I don't... I don't think it would work. <laughs> this is a tile-based. Um, okay. Oh, dude, I love this, like, new mechanics. Those are weak walls, right? So you have to do something with them. Um... um what do those cells do? Those think... cells are maybe electric things that like charge them, so you have to get the, oh, the no, little thing. Already screwed up. Yeah, you see like those little pods. <laughs> I think that's what you do. How do I push it? Oh, there they are. Oh, I see. Yeah. 
I've already screwed it, but I want to try it out. Oh, I can't move there. Oh, okay, so I have to move it over all the way. And then go around, and then move it down to where it's supposed to be. Okay. Cool! Okay. Okay, this one is... I can move this one down. I think, you think you can just fire this one all the way down, honestly. Yeah. And then all the way over, and then up, probably. Um, I can move it to do those ones, or I can use it for the bottom. Yeah, either or any of them work, actually. I'm going to try the bottom one first. Yeah. Just because it's a doesn't matter when I get those. And I would do the same thing. I would just go to the left, yeah, and then and down. This one looks harder than it actually is. Yeah, you can just push that one over if you want. Yeah. Ah, what cool mechanics! I love so it! So good. So smart. God damn, it's so good game. Good, good game, man. My idea bo Boulder Dash got started like this. Ah. Very nice. Yeah, th if this, if Boulder Dash hadn't existed and somebody saw this, would be like, oh, that could be repurposed for Boulder Dash. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. So, oh, it only appears to be... Going around the edge. But I think, the, you, I think those blocks will... Uh... So I can at least get... Oh, my God. Oops. I need to move that back. <laughs> just in case. What do I just... So there's a bomb. Is that... There's a trip wire. Is that it? Oh. Oh, I know what you have to do. I oh yes, I have to set off the trip wire with that dude that's going around the edge by diverting him in to the trip wire. So I think I know how to do that. Block him that way, and then I put one of the blocks like here so that he goes in there and goes to the trip wire. I'm gonna actually make that block a little bit there so it's a little bit more direct. So now I just need that block here. Ooh, but I gotta do it without him killing me. Killing me, because as soon as I put that block here. Let's try it out and see what happens. We'll find out. At least he's not gonna get to me. Oh, maybe it'll. Oh no. How do I even. Try it. Oh no. Okay. Now I can move this block. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out this motherfucker's mechanics. You? It's the tricky one. <gasps> no, wrong timing. Rip. Squish. I saw this thing. Oh, you can see Atari in the Atari cam. Yeah, he's got his little his little thing there. Okay. So. Did I, need to? Did I want to do that? I still think that's right. Yeah. And then it's about getting, diverting him in. So you can also push that to the left and then up or down, right? So you don't have to push that one all the way to the left, if you see what sure. I mean. Oh, so I this, see. I think this might be a, a better technique. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, now I want to do... How am I going to get that? Okay, what I'm going to do is push that all the way down and then push it to the left, to the right. Not that far. Damn it. It's not what I meant to do. I need to, like, sneak in there. Got uh -oh. that way. <gasps> oh, we you almost had there. it. Yeah. I think that's right, that one there. Definitely. Ah! That was close. No, push it down. Oh, never mind. Because you see what I mean? If you push that top one down and block it, it's going to go. Oh. Right, 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 right. right there. Yeah, see what this does. I bet you that's good. That might be it. What if he... Oh. Oh, so now... It's not quite right. Now try pushing it all the way. See what yeah, it's just going to trap him. Oh! Oh, it worked! It forced him up! Yeah! Nice. Well, I'm done. I'm done. 
Fuck yeah. yeah. We got this. There's probably multiple ways to do that one. Yeah. That's that feels that way, you know? Okay, what's this one? Holy shit. I mean Gauntlet has been pretty much done for the twenty six hundred. I mean it's got some progress on it. I don't think it was fully, fully realized. It was uh, an adaption of the 2600 version of Dark Chambers. Um, I did play it on the show, and I think I talked to the programmer of it, the developer of it, and um, there were some line count issues with it, but it was, it was in a pretty good spot where it was. Of course, Dark Chambers was the prequel to Gauntlet. So by repurposing Dark Chambers for Gauntlet um, is great. Oh, this one is a maze. Yeah. I don't know if I got it. I think, I think some mistakes were made. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I think so too. What happens if I push this down? Oh, you can destroy blocks. That's helpful. Because then you don't have to deal with so many of them. I mean, you're screwed now. When you reset, yeah, you did that, that. One more to push, and you're screwed. Yay! <laughs> oh, you killed yourself. Good. Yeah, that's an actually that's a good thing about this one. Okay. Um, I would kill as many blocks as possible. Because you don't want them. Like at the end of the day, you don't want those blocks. That's a good point. Because they're just getting in the way. That's a really good point. Did you already push one? I think you did. I haven't pushed any yet. Oh, I mean, okay. the thing, so, so like I can get this one. But, yeah. I, but I think that might be a trap, you know? It could be. Oh, yeah, it could be. If you go. If you push that one up and then you push that one. There you go. You want as many to the left as possible, I think. Push, don't push that one to the right. Push that no. One, to, one below it to the right. And then... Um. Oh. And this is. Yeah. Push that one up. Yeah. Yes, push that one down. No. <laughs> okay, one more to go. Okay, I just have to figure this out. I just have to figure this out. How does this work? Starts trapping the man. Destroys it. Yeah. That one is well protected. <sighs> the only one you can move out of the way is that top left one. But that doesn't actually doesn't help me. You know. But it does get it out of the way by pushing it all the way down. But th th that just traps me even more. Just, that just encloses it more. Mm. No, I think you're stuck. I should just try and move some. See what it does. See if it sparks any ideas. But I think some some block you moved at some point was the wrong Isn't, one to yeah, put it in. Put it in for place. Sure. Yeah, see, that cross is not complete, and you pushed it into place. And without pushing that one to the right, you would have been, it would have been clear. Okay, so first solve that. The above one goes down. Yeah, I have to be more specific. <laughs> That's hard. Says, I see the way out. Dude. I mean, previously? I wish I, wish I did too. Man. Uh, 
I think that thing at the bottom is your salvation. It needs to be. You need to kill some of these blocks. did. Yeah, kill as many blocks as possible. I think you've already pushed a couple into, into places, into places that be, you can't get uh, them out of. Fuck. Okay, I think that, that's actually the right way to do it. Um, okay. So if I push the one to your left all the way out, I don't know if that helps at all. Then you can clear all the rest of that whole is this, that I'm row. Just wrap them up. This one on the right. Go one, oh, two over. has to be that. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't actually change the board, really. No, not in a way that it affects the rest of it. Because this one, the temptation is to push this over, but I think, I think it it's more... That. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm on the right track. I think so now as well. Because I think that... Shit! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I didn't mean to, it just hit! Oh, cause that's it, that's rip, right? I think so. Yeah. Damn it, I had it! Oh, you can kill yourself again. <laughs> okay, I, think, I think I got it now. Okay, okay, so this one has to go like that. And then this one has to go like this. Yep. This one. I think one. that block destroying machine is a red hair. I think so too. Because the effort that you have to put in to get those down there and hardly oh yeah, any so of them. This is the way to go. Yeah. Very nice path. I think that's the way to go. Up right. Yeah, and then push that one all the way to the left. There you go. Oh, now you can do it. You did it. You did it! Fuck yeah! Oh my god. That took That's... like a little bit of brain power to get that oh, one good. done. This one looks less puzzly <laughs> and more... Actually, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Oh no, I have to push all these question marks into the thing. Yeah. And then rescue them. <laughs> or collect them. Okay. Mm Easy one first, that one. This one? Yeah. How do you even push them in front of it? Gotta deal with that bomb first, maybe. Uh-oh. Maybe. What is that wire? What happens if you step in front of that wire? Oh, you clear it. Oh, it's just nothing. Oh, I see. So you do have to clear that. Or do you? <sighs> oh, so I'm thinking that you just have to get this right. So, oh, you got six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have to get all of them. And they're going to be screwed. What's our method here? If I go over that, it gets rid of it and shoots the bomb. Oh, you know what? What? I don't have to put it in front of that. All I have to do is blow them all up. Yeah, line. you have to. Yeah, you line them all up. So line up. one here, one here, one here. One here, one here, one here. But... And then you got to get that to that And I've got to get that. that but you can go up top. Uh, like go here and then go boom boom. In and it's out. possible. Yeah, I should. I think that's it. the only way to. Oh, it's very easy. Yeah. Very easy. I think, yeah, you're right. That's the only way. Yeah. Okay. So the puzzle is to get them all lined up. That one's easy. Yeah. Just fire that one all the way straight up. Bam. Good stuff. And I just have to get them all in the same position. Yeah. Well, that's not hard at all. 
I bet the it's challenge just to, is it's just to get a strategy. At this point, is like, oh, are are they out of order? Are they gonna trap one another? Maybe, depending on what they are. No, they're all screws because there's six oh. screws and it requires oh, yes, and there's yes, six yes. question marks. That's so. right. So that's easy. I've already done the hard part, which is uh, running away. <laughs> yeah, you're it. gonna have to go. Oh, it's tricky though, because you're gonna have to go. No, I, I think I was fine. I think I did the same. Yeah. Thanks for the information, Lemon Capsules. What information? What are you saying? So much is happening. Okay. It's pretty calm. Yeah. Oh, good. You Last needed, level of you, you just needed a technique. Yeah. And it's on you. <sighs> okay. See if it's a boss. No, it's not a boss. There was one level where it was a boss, and you had to, like, put bombs near it to blow it up. It's really good. So you've got... Oh, so I gotta, like... Get those over there. Oh, there's only one. Why did they give you three... We're gonna find out in a sec. Yeah. So I see where those three things go in the bottom right. You gotta move them out of the way. Because they're kind of in the way. Uh oh. 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 You're screwed. No, you can move that one back up. No, you're screwed. <laughs> now you're very screwed. <laughs> Rip. And reset. Okay, 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 I got it. That's the key, is is moving them past each other. Mm. Oh boy. Definitely worthy of a level eight. Can you get that past without getting rid of those? No, so. you can't, because it would have to go against the wall. You're going to have to maneuver those to a spot, and then maneuver those to a spot. Okay, so I'm thinking that has to go there. Oh, oh yeah, because you only need one. The rest, right. the and rest think, are just annoying. And I'm thinking that this Straight one needs up. to go up, so that gives me like some room Lots to do room. it. And then I think that I need to like basically get those past it somehow. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. Move it up. And then... Oh, now I'm fucked. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I thought I had a good, a good approach. Yeah, should I? You have to get all three of those. Or at least two of them out. Ooh. Beforehand. I have... Okay. Can okay. I reach that? Yeah. So, oh, Azure was talking about this game. It's hard to talk about this game when it's complete with no flaws. Yeah, it has no flaws. Okay. I was just fucking around. I think I'm done. Rip. Rip. Uh, no. No, you can still manipulate that one. No, now you can't do it. Because you needed that space right there to be empty to push, to push that one up. Now you'll never get it over. I know, I'm just curious. But you can play I'm with just, those I'm ones. I'm just curious, like, what the maneuver needs to be. So that needs to go here. Yeah. What spots need to be clear for you to manipulate that one? Yeah, because this is like getting yeah, stuck. I think those two can be along those that edge. That 
your biggest area right there. So that's a good spot to have that. I mean, I'm just thinking, like, what if I just... One feature this game could be, uh, could use is being to be able to select a different color palette. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because each level has oh. its... <laughs> it's just because you double click a lot. Oh, man. Yeah, it's sensitive. Um, yeah, each level has its, only, its own color. Or at least each, um, world? Oh, no, that. Yeah, it would be good to be able to select it. I don't know how you do that. Like, um. Yeah, it's done. Rip, rip. Oh, God. Yeah, you could press game select. I don't think game select does anything right now. So you, he could do that easily, because he does already have the colors built in. I think it does randomize each level, the color. But I mean, this engine can be used for any, like, RPGs. Like, look at this. It's true, man. This is a great engine for RPGs, and it's definitely a big enough um, screen that it's got a great viewport. It's got great animation, too. You can do that on a Super Game Boy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Super Game Boy is the menu option to uh, select different colors. I feel like I've already been down this road. That was fruitless. <laughs> Those two in the bottom, you can't actually even get them out, can you? No. They have to stay there, and they can only go in so many positions. This guy goes here, right? And then, basically... You do eventually have to get all three of them over, but that's fine. Uh oh, I. Okay, now slow down here, cowboy. Well, yeah, I need <laughs> to think about, like. Okay, so this. You have to move that one. There's only two spots left, or all the way to the right. Or maybe not all the way to the right. I thought I'm trapped. Fuck. a problem putting it all the way to the right? Because oh, really. then I can't, I can't, because of where I position oh, this Oh, because guy. where you put that. No, no, move it one more over to the left. Then I... And then you trap your... Exactly. It was so close. Oh, you moved the, it the, too much. The dream was alive. Well, I needed you to... Could, you could well, do that whale before Well, I needed though, to deal you? with this first. Okay, so like... out first before you get to Yeah. What did I do? There you go. I that was the here. spot. And then you had that guy right beside it. But then I need to like... Okay. So what did I do wrong? So I brought this guy up, which yeah. was good. And, and all then... the way over. And, and then... now you can position those guys down there. And I think that's... Do you think I should next... just do it all the way to the right? I, I think that's the right spot. Let's see what happens. I don't know if... I think I'm gonna fuck it. I don't know if that's the right spot yet, though. <laughs> well, let's try it out. Yeah, and then you move that one over. Just leave it there for now. I think I do one. Okay, there. I think I'll have to do one more. Why? Well, because do I can't yet. go down. Well, you can go around it. You can go around it still. It's still open. That one over. You're good. And then... And then I'm fucked. Oh, no. That is not the right spot going all the way up because you can't push that one down ever. Exactly. Of that. Okay, so don't put that one there. Okay, that one has to go somewhere. Yeah. I'm just I just wouldn't in the have... meantime, I'm going to check this one out. Yeah. So, like, see, it has to go down there. Yep. So then it can then go here. 
but I think I need to deal with these guys still. Oh, fuck. You can move back. No, I can't. Oh, I can't that's not an empty spot. I had it. I had it. I had the dream. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> it is, and it's different each level. Like the thing, the the way you think about each level is very different. This has to be the way, though. I feel yeah, I like I'm it... making I'm making some like really good progress. Definitely, this is this is feeling really good. And this for sure goes here, and then now I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Definitely that one goes all the way to the right, I think. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Wait, what if... Yeah. I don't... I got an idea. What if I go yeah. all the way to the yep. right and, and push then... that one all the way to the left? Yeah, up one, and then push it to the left. Because then you've got a clear way to push it down, and then still across. Oh, yeah, that's great. One more up and around. Boom. Okay, we got one. So now I gotta... You can do that three more times. Easily. Now move that one back again. Oh Up. yeah, I just rinse, repeat. Yeah, rinse, repeat for the next three. And then you're clear. Now just don't make any wrong moves. One at a time. Yeah, you're right. Just slow. So it, was, it wasn't a complete switch around. It's just moving temporarily back and forth. Nice. Yeah, and then this one shouldn't be too bad to do. No, but it's the same. It's right in the middle. Oh, I almost did it. <laughs> you almost pushed it it's to the right. It's so hard because I have to be like very precise. Every move is important. There's no error because the walls are so right up against everything. Wait, fuck, no, I gotta move this yeah. over. Yeah. I've done this like three times already, and I still... Ooh, I almost fucked You it. almost did. But that's okay, it's the last one, so... Oh, God, it's so stressful. Pressure! Gah! <laughs> oh, my God, okay, so now... Do not push that one to the left. There you go. There you go. There you go. Down, down. And that should be a screw. Oh, dude! Oh, no! Oh, that's hilarious! No! That's hilarious! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, game reset. Yep. That's so good. Okay. okay. Not a problem. We can do it. We just have to keep those in a position they ha they can escape. Yeah. But we also have to get them in a position where we can move our guy into it, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> so we might... We don't necessarily... You know, we might need to be able to, like... I'm just going to push that one there. I think that's good. I'll oh, move it against that wall. Move anywhere. it up again. Move it up to the position that um oh no you can't. Maybe these guys need to get out too. I screwed that one. That can't that can't be there. I can't no no I can't. I can get no no I can't. Okay, move it up to Now maneuver that guy kind of over, I think. Fuck, no. Fucked it up. Yeah, and now it's ripped. Yeah. So, reset. Because oh. we don't necessarily have to do the, the the ones first. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have to... We, we need to get all three done. Yes. So we don't necessarily have to get all of the, like, doors open before we bring those in. It might, no. it might be easier to get those things. It might have to do one and the other. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Now is there a, there's not really a place we can hide. These things? Yeah. Really. Okay, so how do we even get those out? Right? 
Yeah, that's probably the first thing we have to tackle. Well, we can't move that one at all, so this one has to move. And I don't want to move it left. Oh! Do I know? I, I feel like we port. have to. So I think, I think the... Yeah, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then over, and then up. Now the problem we face is that we needed to position that other one in a better place. Because we needed that one on the, on the top mm -hmm. to be over to the left. Mm -hmm. But this is possible now. So now, all the way to the left, with this one, it has to. There. Yeah. yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll figure yeah. it out in a sec. We just gotta get this thing set up, so. Yes, 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 yes. One no, more. no, that's the spot, no. Because you need to tuck underneath it, right? No, fuck. <laughs> I can leave everything on. Yeah, good. Okay. Good. Uh, so then, there? Yeah, then up to and then left on the right on the top left one. No. Screw it up. Cause cause you need to be able to like yeah, there you go. How do I do it? Uh, so go so bring the the bottom one you want to bring all the way to the right. Yeah. So if you bring that up two and then the top left one, move that over two. Yeah, there you go. Now you can right. tuck underneath and So now I don't know necessarily what we're gonna do. Um, but this is a position that's like possible to do shit in. So now we need to yeah. figure out how we're gonna get these friggin' little guys in. Mm -hmm. So we might need to maneuver. You know what? If we do one at a time and kind of maneuver it around each one as I bring it in, like maneuver, move, maneuver, move, each one at a time, like that. Yeah. I think that might be possible if we do it the right way. Let's see. Oh, see, now we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yep. Oh, God. Last level. Oh, sorry. See what I mean? It's the double tap. It yeah. happened to me all the it time. It's very sensitive. Because sometimes you just like, and stresses me out when it's like a key moment too. Oh, when you're so far along. And you're like, oh no, am I going to double tap this? Keep oh, so you need to move that one over all the way to the left, I bet. The top one. Oh, still yes. Still needs to go over. Because yeah, now you're trapped. Because <laughs> oh, that one, the top one needs to, to be. Yeah. Yeah. Sure is. The thing is, once you know it, you're good. You're like, oh, that's how you do it. That's easy. I don't know if it's going to be easy. It's impressive because it's like we're <laughs> finding the sequence, though. Yeah. Okay. Those are all in maneuverable spots. Now, let's think for a second here. Because if I move it up. I am trapped. I can't move that one up here. That lightning bolt. Um, do I move it back to the right? Uh oh, not necessarily. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, indeed. No, no help. <laughs> no help from the chat. No, this is a rough one, man. Because it's also hard to describe what you mean. It's like, oh, move the Use left one, one to the, to thing the right the... and then oh, move yeah. it up to the left. And is it even possible to. Maneuver it around in this some small spot. I can't. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, where do these 
things go in the meantime? Where do you put them? We just need to get like one. You know what I mean? We yes. just need one. Do I do this one first? Should I try? That's not a bad idea. Yeah, try leaving him like. I can't move him up or to the right at all. He has to stay. Try try one over to the left. I feel like that might be a decent place for it to I live. I can put him down here. Yeah, let's try that. For now, that's not a bad idea. That has that has to go all the way to the left. The this one, yeah. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Move yeah. this move this one all the way to the left so it's out of the way. Um, and then uh, I think he, we're I screwed now. Let's see what happens. If I close those in, I can't get around them. Like this is some there's some wisdom to that man a little bit it's kind of meeting in the middle you know mm -hmm. I can only go I can go I can put it down yeah because I can go around here and then and that's what opening. we need I think that's what we need to do for yeah. now so this one it has to go all the way to the left we just have to get it out of the way I mean that's progress getting it past yeah so like that's that's good now, do I want to move the next energy up there? I think I so. Do. That's my bet. Um, yeah. Now, um, shh. now, now, okay, you can move, now this, I can guy move down. this guy down. Yeah, and then you can move that one one over. And then you can move this down, and I think you might be able to get it from just here. I think, I think so too. I think you might have just got. Just, oh, because you can get rid of these. Exactly, and now it's right. going to be easier. So it's like step by step, right? And you know what? I can move all these back to the original positions, and then do it again. And it's going to get easier. Nightmare. It's going to get easier because we have one last thing to deal with. Okay. This was down. pass by I think I can just go like put it there I bet I bet so yeah after you put the bolt in the hole you don't explain you didn't explain why you were stuck what? oh you mean the first time we ever did put the bolt in the hole well the problem was is that we had trapped all of our electric guys right so we're trying to juggle both it's really tricky did I just mess it up? Uh, yes, you did. Maybe not. No. Nope. No. Because I have to keep that up there. Yeah, so you just got to leave that up top. Put it here first? How did I... You need to get that... You need to trade spaces. You need that... That electric one needs to be, like... Um, yeah, that electric one needs to be where that one is. Hmm. Like over there? Yeah. I have to put that electric one there first. How did I do this? Oh! So tuck... Right, tuck that down. Yeah. Exactly. Bam. 
Good. Right. And now you can now move this I one all the way so it's out of the way. And now you need to, like, I don't remember what our maneuver was. <laughs> but we have to maneuver these ones now before we move the... Oh, this yeah, one, one had to be up there first. That's right. right. Yeah. Perfect. And then the... The top one needs to go to the right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, now, now we're good. We're good. Yeah, one over, and then you can move the yellow one, this one out of the way. Yeah, and then you can bring this down. Now you're good. And we just gotta do this one more time. And then we gotta get rid of all these. Yes. That's that's easy. Yeah, so reset. That's the only option. Because I know we can do it if we reset. Yeah. Probably don't need to do it this far, but... But know. honestly, there's probably another way to do this, but we need to beat this motherfucker. <laughs> yes, there's no question about it. But you can trade places with them, right? So you don't. You can leave this one um, on the on the right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then so I you... just put that one all the way down to the bottom. Totally. And then yeah, all the. Oh. Okay, reset. Man. Luckily we know it now. Not, not the the, the oh, thing yeah. needs to go Keep over one. There. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And then wrap around. You got this. Yeah. Now just three more times. That's all yep. you need. Does that one need to move at all? You no, know, you need to reset them. Mm, I believe. Yeah, I think I. Because in all honesty, I don't see another way to do it. I mean, we can try to get fancy about it, but I know that we can do this, yep. which is you know. Stronger than I felt before. That goes. Yeah. In and down. Yeah, and then one over. Now you're golden. Luckily, we have the strategy. Yeah, it's we, going much we know <laughs> we know the approach. It's so hard because it's so easy to screw yourself immediately. It is the tapping. It's like uh, double tapping. That one's all the way over. Down. That one's over. All the way. That's right. One. Up. Two. Over. Up. That's over. That's right. Over. That one's pretty clear. <sighs> and now we can just clean out. Let's do the first one first. Yeah, man. There, yeah, there you go. Now take your time. It's still it's still possible to mess this up. Oh yeah, by pushing it too much. Now this this other one, this last one, is easy to screw up, but it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. So you don't push it all the way to the right. You push it to the left. Grab that bolt before you yes. load it in. Yeah, because it won't work. Yes. 
Take your time. Don't rush. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. He said, now you understand why this got my vote. Yeah, for uh, best uh, work in progress Fuck uh, yeah, last man. year. Holy shit. Unbelievable game. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Every level is different. Oh my god, and look at this. This is a new world of oh, insanity. Let's get the bolts. But it's like... Oh. oh my god. It's a nice break from that nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So, I encourage everybody to go out there and download it and work your way through the worlds, or hold off. Wait till he's Take done. Wait till he's reordered. It's a great game, man. Unbelievable mechanics, gorgeous graphics, amazing Huge sound. Up. If anything, maybe the movement is a little too jittery. Like you can move twice too easily. Yeah, it would be nice if that wasn't there, but at yeah. the same time, I totally get it too. Yeah, yeah. After you put the bolt in the hole, you didn't explain why you're stuck. I don't. Yeah, we, we explained it as an. Yeah. Maybe we weren't stuck, but we didn't see a way past and way out because it's not straightforward. You have to keep moving things back and forth, back and forth to reset it. Great game. Oh my god, unbelievable. I can't wait till that gets released yeah, on cartridge. Yeah, we'll beat all the levels yeah. someday. It'll be, oh, a, wow. it'll be real good. So thank you everybody for joining us today. I don't have any games set up for next uh, next show on Friday, so I better get on that. <laughs> uh, we're definitely going to be playing uh, one of Activision games for a uh, high score or for a patch. I did get the patch last Friday for Sky Jinx, so I might go after a harder one again now that yeah. I've got a patch. Because I know there's a couple that are super easy, super easy to get the patch for, but i got to reserve those so that I don't feel too bad about myself. Well, yeah, you, you don't want to, you know... Yeah, you got to pepper it through. Yeah. If you get a hard one, an easy one, hard one, easy one, like a little checkerboard. Yep. Um, and after this, we've got four more uh, shows until there's a short break where um, we're going to be off for a week and a half, something like that. Uh, 18th will be the last show. That'll be uh, a U. Yay! Uh, a U show. And... Then I'm off to uh, Portland in L.A. Um, to show my film again. Ooh. And then we'll be back on October 4th, the day after my birthday. Happy birthday. And uh, yours is on September. September 30th. September, so I won't be here for that, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll I don't celebrate it with the cats. I almost never do anything on my birthday. Oh, um, yeah? I might change something. I might do something different this year, but I don't know. I was like spending mm. my birthday on my own. It's weird. I've, I've done that for the last like six, seven years. Not because I haven't had friends, but <laughs> it's one of yeah. those things where I'll, I'll do. I don't like being the center of attention. No. Birthday so is a bad place to be. I find like, like the, the singing of happy birthday makes oh, me very uncomfortable. That. Especially in public. Um, I don't like gathering. Because the other problem I have too is that like a lot of my friends I just hang out with one on one. So when I get all my friends in a room together, it's not I don't actually oh. enjoy myself. I feel like it's just putting a bunch of people who were like not meant to be together together. <laughs> um, but it depends. I'll, I might change my mind this it's like year. A social experiment gathering yeah, gathering them all together. I don't. I actually don't enjoy myself really. But I've I've never been like a super party person. Like I've always well, that been. That way you can have your birthday like ten times it's true. individually with ten of your friends. Totally. Separately. And yeah. I also have always felt like birthdays are a time to reflect on like where you're at in life. I've always found it to be that way yeah. for me personally. It's never a oh. celebration. It's like, oh, well, I'm that guessing sounds I'm sad I'm and like, happy. I'm like, at the same I'm, time. I'm like one year closer to death. Oh, you know? never think about that. Uh, but uh, but it's not so much that. It's more like, um, okay, I'm turning this age. What was this last year like? like what do I want to do this year? I find I take stock. It's more like New Year's is like that for some people, but I find my birthday is more like that. And it's also because September to me is when all mm. new things sort of start. So it's weird that my birthday is right at the end of September. Right. Um, yeah. So it's just like, it's like my little totem, but we'll see what I do. I might do something different. You never know. We'll see. Um, what do you do? We what can do you... celebrate it after. Oh, what do I do for my birthday? Yeah, what do you typically um, do? Uh, we go to VIF. Oh, that's right. And then to a restaurant. Yay. Uh, but this year it's going to be VIF Restaurant Arcade. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Triple threat. It's going to be golden. It's going to be an amazing time. Uh, so we just have to cut down on one of the movies. So we might just go see two or even one movie yeah. this year. Usually, usually I do three movies and pack the whole whole day. Two, dinner, then one after, yeah. or whatever order. Hi. Hey, Munchkin. Princess on the pillow. 
Um, so thanks everybody for hanging out with us and uh, Repentless VG, Thrust26, Iisposta, Zor6502, Lemmecalister, Splendid Nut. Why, look at this coloring on my screen. Yes. It's all blue. Or it's, all green. it's like it's green and then like a... Like a, like a, like a Ugh. As for Mira's, uh, Wo, Wo, Wotan, Wota, Wota, that's what it was. Jared Gray West, um, RC7E, did I say As for Mira's? I think I did. Ground Trooper, I know there's more names in here. Militant Buddhist. Militant Buddhist. Fobinar, a new name. Hey, Fobinar. Welcome. Uh, too bad we missed it when he was Yeah, here. I think I might have said his name out. Arena Foot dropped in. Arena. Oh, I didn't even see him. Um, he said, hi, all. And I, I think, pushed oh, for and spies, too. Buddha said, hey, Brian. So it's like, oh, oh good. Um, who else? I think that's it for the scrolling back. Um, great games. Yeah, we had some good games. Well, yeah. well it's we like, had uh, well, what did we have Dog Walk, which is a great, great, simple game. Yeah. Super challenging. He's going to do some um, I like that. Um, that's difficulty an, balancing. I always call them like iOS games, not because they're iOS games, but the kind of thing that is a very quick thing that you could yeah. do on the bus, you could do in the it's like, like... Oh, I think I'll do a couple games of dog walk. Right? Yeah, or you're like waiting for like anything. You're in you're in, you're you're in like a, a you know some dumb bureaucratic <laughs> office of some kind like, uh, for like a DMV or something. It's waiting, yeah, totally. And but you don't know when you're gonna get called up, so you don't want to do like a big. I yeah. feel like it's a perfect game because it's a quick little. It's the same with yeah. like um, Amoeba like a, Jump, right? It's like a it's three like, minute game, five minute game. Maybe it jumps a little longer if you're good at it. That's a good point. Oh uh, my god. Chewing my cables. That's Luckily, bad. it's just an HDMI that's cable. That's bad news, Atari. No, 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 no. no Frothing no, no. at the mouth, yep. ready to devour things. Um, the yeah. Wick, the Wicked Father. Um, it's a good platformer, except for the water swimming. If it, the water swimming, could, if you could just rise to the top with a couple presses and jump out easily. Yeah, it's so close to yep. being really good. But to me, it's just not, I don't enjoy, I didn't enjoy any moment of it. Maybe the jumping my experience, was you know? a bit more. But I'm not a big platformer person, uh, so that I, doesn't I love, help. If they fixed the water, I think it would have been a, a great game. Because the the later levels with the platform started getting really good. Yeah. Making really hard jumps, and you're like, oh, i got to swim through the water and get back, like, swim to shore again. It's, yeah. It would be a very cool concept. It's fun playing all these 2D games, because, like, really all I've played in my whole life is 3D games, pretty That's much. Right. It's funny, because, yeah. it's, again, Born it's... after the 3D came in. It's my age, right? Yeah. Being a bit younger, so it's always interesting. So 2D platformers is, like, it's, like, <laughs> I have to, like, kind of get into it, you know? It's yeah. a bit different. The platformers these days are so forgiving. It's like, oh, you could be that far from the ledge, and he'll still grab on. It's true. It'll be fine. Uh, Robo Mechanic masterpiece. Oh yeah, in all aspects, unbelievable masterpiece, and I can't wait for him to finish. And he's just—he's so close. He's got all the mechanics down. It's just—he's the only thing he's left is space. He wants to fit more levels in, which is a wonderful. We only made it to the level. Uh, now we're on F. Yeah, and he goes to like M. So there's so many more levels to come, which it's is gonna be awesome. great. Yeah, so three good. really interesting games today, and the yeah. last one was undeniably um, terrific. Yeah, um, yeah, one of the one of the, it's almost like in the top ten like homebrew games I've ever played. Like it just fired up immediately. <laughs> yes. I enjoyed every minute of it, and I love the variation. And it's the kind of thing that makes me bums me out that I didn't get to play from a one all the way through. You know, yeah. it'll. We'll come back. I don't know if I'd want to play the whole thing again. Oh, but. I get it, man. It's just the nature of the show. But like as a yeah. gamer, I wanted to do it. Experience and that's every an, level. That's an indication that it's a good game. Yes. Because I wanted that experience. Yeah. Game, like Guest Ramirez says, game is complete. Yes. He ju it's just about how many he can fit on a cart. And Thrust says he's talking with him um, to be able to crunch down that amount. That's a like buy... You instant, know what I mean? If there was like, buy. if this were like, you know, Roger and Siskel and Ebert with the thumbs up, that one's like buy. You know what I mean? That's like a yeah, insta do it. buy. That's what I totally call it. insta buy. Yeah, right just away. do it. Like it was, it's one which is obviously you're gonna gonna work, and it's because it's fun for people who love puzzles. It's, it's fun buy, for yeah. people who love action. Totally, and games. it's variation, and it scales really yeah. nicely, and it's fun it, to play with two people because we were yeah, both working together off. trying to problem one solve it. One person can do it, one person can think about it. Totally. And without both of us there for that last level, Rip. oh man, <laughs> oh man, that was hard. 
that was probably the hardest level of the g whole game so far. Totally. I mean, it, obviously, it, ne it needs to be on level eight and once of you a world. Once you figure it out, it's like, okay, we got this. But man, figuring that out was was tough. Even and every... doing it after you figure it out, it's like you have to be very careful. Every yeah, person. it is, and it's a puzzle. That's good. I, he... It's a puzzle game that you can watch. I honestly never know with puzzle games on the show. It's so um, hard. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. That's yeah. good. I'm I'm gonna tend to keep the puzzle game short. I want to show them off. Totally. Keep them to a, a length where we've seen it. We can move on. We don't need to keep going through all the levels. Um, but that one is an action puzzler, so yeah. you can keep going. Um, and so we'll be back on Friday with Darcy. Ooh, be a good Darcy game for Day. game night. It would be a great name. A great uh, or great name. Great, great, great game, game if you've got like a like a niece or a nephew or something. And you just throw that on and be like, "Good yeah, luck, have good fun." Good luck. And See I how far you, you can make it. And I and I, I would be. I bet you that game would appeal to like a younger, like a 12, 13, 14 year old for sure. Yeah. And I bet you it's one of those things where like your niece and nephew's over. You're having like I don't know, like a like a meal. Throw that on them. I bet you that kid will be distracted for hours. Hours, yeah. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we'll see you at noon Pacific time on Friday. Yeah, man. I'll see you next see week. Bye-bye. Au revoir.